It's up to her. Not up to me. You like this game, Big Dave? That's awesome. Will we extend? Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, it's the. Can, I, yeah, you can get one ups like that and stuff. There's a lot about this game I don't remember, but it's going to be fun learning about it. These guys are horrible. Yes, they are, Mendel. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, did you beat Super Mode? No, yeah, I'm going to try Super Mode. It's going to really suck, I know. But that's what we're going to do. And it is great to see you guys. It's really hot outside. It's great to be inside playing some games. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Now is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let us make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. We're going to be here all freaking day. All day! Good Lord, I have not played this in like 30 years. It's really been that long. That's a good start. Oh, yeah, you can chain pop stuff. Yeah, see, I have played before, but like I said, not enough to actually fight any bosses or anything. Ah, uh, him blow bubbles, MBD, welcome in. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a nice little music tune here. I'm sure you guys have heard it before. Th that Why didn't the bubbles pop? All right, I just got to... All right, there we go. Brimguard, welcome in. So ready for this tune to be burned my brain for the entire weekend. It's been in mind since. It seemed like Goten here just recently played it. And that's what got me in the mood to play it. It's been a while. Okay, they were going to kill me there. Oh, a little bit of this is coming back to me. Maybe a little bit. Got a deathless run working so far. Only 97 more levels to go. That's all. Y'all crush this? I don't know. Morgan, welcome in. You remember frequently renting this? I did rent this quite a bit myself. I never owned it till much later. And there's death number one. All right. <laughs> wow, a deathless run of this would be something, would it not? It would be something. It's got a one-up. Good. No harm done. So there's a hundred levels. And then we have to do 100 levels in loop two, so it's going to be a long day. But you get through levels fairly quickly, as you're seeing right, right here. Did the speed run for best ending, and I'll say only this. I hope you enjoy this game. Oh, boy, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> it's going to take a while, is it not? Yes. <laughs> wow, a speed run to get the best ending. That's awesome, man. I wonder if I can even do it. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm really scared of the boss fight. I've seen the boss fight. I've never actually done it before. But I, I am intimidated. All right, well, that's cool. That worked out nicely. That was nice. It's one of the first NES games I heard of. It was a poster contained inside the box with my NES. So a lot of you guys that have played this, do you like it? Do you think it's tedious or not fun? What, what do you think about it? I've always thought it was a charming little game. But it is just... I, I've always been fascinated by this. It's, it's typical NES goodness. It's good! <laughs> okay, you guys like this. I'm glad. I'm glad! No! Wizrobe! There we go. I don't remember the names of the enemies, but that looked like a white Wizrobe. Wolfmaster, welcome in. And Neff, welcome in. You guys are doing good. Never seen this game before. Okay, well that's rare, Mendel. Casually, I love this game. I think it's awesome. Two-player co-op. Yeah, I wish my girlfriend was not quite so shy because she would like this too. She actually played it as a kid in Japan a long time ago. Maybe we'll probably play it off-stream or something. Maybe I could record a playthrough of us playing it off-stream. It wouldn't be the camera on or anything, but yeah. Chris Collett, welcome in. Had this game on NES. Awesome. This is just a good game. Crud is welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. What is that? A bur There's a burger or something over there? We got green candy. I don't remember what all the items do. Oh, that guy's in a good spot. That guy's in a good spot. Oh, no, no, no! Ah <laughs> King Mike, it is! Welcome in! Plabu, welcome in! Hope you guys are doing good. <laughs> the Wizard got pissed off and turned red. <laughs> Oh, what a fun... Dude, this game's a lot more fun than I remember actually playing it. It's been, it's been so many years. Uh, what's that burger thing? Do I have no idea. None whatsoever. What's... Wow, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. All right. Let's... Oh, I didn't see him! Well, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. All right, there we go. All right. 
Rainbow Islands, isn't that the sequel to this game? Bubble to Bubble 2 is harder. I don't know. Have you ever done Loop 2 of this? Have you done Loop 2 of this, Big Dave? I have not. I don't know anything about how Loop 2 is going to play out here. Okay, I'll take that candy up there. The candies have all kinds of power-ups and stuff. Alright, that's like long bubbles, stuff like that. There's a, there's a lot to know. There's a difference in... Yeah, apparently the enemies, you fight the harder versions of enemies. Like, so this little guy with a wind-up, little wind-up guy down here, I think those are replaced by enemies that have, like, range attacks and stuff. So that's going to make Loop 2 substantially more difficult, especially like, even on the earlier stages. Even there, Rainbow Islands, Bubble Bubble Tune, Rainbow Islands 2 was Parasol Stars. I've heard of Parasol Stars. That's on Turbo Graphics or something, I, I think. I want to say... Ooh, that was a good start. All right. Okay, I think I... Nope, I did not get them all. Okay. I don't remember what all this stuff does. All right. There we go! Now, give me all this crap. Oh, it all, it's all going to go down there. It's all going to go down there. Watch this. BAM! Oh, crap. <laughs> I want that! I don't even know if you need it. I'm getting it. All right, we're doing good. Level 13 already with no deaths. I mean, like two... Well, yeah, there's like two deaths, but still. I haven't had to continue yet. Dude, even a one-credit clear of this game would be insanely difficult. But I hope you guys are having a really nice Friday. It is great to be here. I'm worried that... Hopefully I'm not going to blue screen again. I've been kind of concerned about that. Because my, uh, my computer blue screened on the last stream, and I'm kind of a little bit panicky about it. So I hope there's not a problem. All right, well, that's... Oh, I see how they want you to do this level. I see how it works. I don't remember if points do anything or not in this game. Glove, what's up, man? Don't welcome me in. Welcome in. <laughs> I'll welcome you in if I want to. All right, that guy's gonna show up if I don't hurry. Y you know that that yeah, this guy. This guy's gonna show up. Yeah, he's gonna show up. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. What's wrong with the uh, with the computer? Hopefully, it's just an isolated blue screen incident. I haven't had one in like a year and a half or something. So hopefully, it's no big deal. Hopefully not. Glove, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have to welcome you in. <laughs> it's part of the rules. <laughs> oh, what's up, Lord Pookums? Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. What's the umbrella do? I'm gonna get that. Oh, it's a warp. Oh, it warped two levels. What the freaking do? All right, well. <laughs> Either way, we're good. We're good. With the letters on the left, I think it's, uh... I think if you spell extend, you get a one-up. You have unlimited continues anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal or anything, but I think that's what it does. I could be wrong. Ooh, the whiz rope. No! <laughs> it's a good thing we have unlimited continues. That's a really good thing. Ooh, I can't believe I survived that. All right, well, that worked out, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Wow. Extra lives are useful when playing for score. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess so. If you're playing for score, then that would be really important. Oh, here, oh yeah, these little enemies right here. These are the things that are probably not going to show up in loop, too, because these are like the easy versions of enemies. All right, I'm trying to use the, the water thing here. There we go. Oh, that was a nice shot. I don't know how long this is going to take today, because I know we're probably going to get through loop one fairly quickly, but... Loop 2 is going to be a bit psychotic because I've never seen it nor seen anyone else do it. God, if I decided to do a one credit clear of this, it would be insane. But definitely, well, never mind. <laughs> that, that's, that's something I should definitely not try. No way. Yeah, it's because of levels like, yeah, see, levels like this is just going to end it so fast. Oh, wait. I think I was supposed to use the lightning. Wait, that's not going to be good enough. That's not going to be good enough. That's terrible. That's too slow. PB was an hour. I missed a sub hour by four seconds. Are you going to go back and try it again? Probably not. <laughs> that would be way too much work. Coffee, thank you for the 23 months. I can't believe it's been two years, dude. I can't believe it's been that long. 
The DOS version of Ultima 2 is infamous for restricting to one character per disc, and you cannot delete the character now through normal means. That is weird. I've never played any Ultima games, honestly. I've never done, like, a full playthrough of them. I know there are RPGs and stuff, but that's something I've never done. That was nice. All right. Still no continues used. And we're 20 levels in. I can't complain too much. I'm a good run. Oh, I remember. Yeah, these little toy-looking enemies. I don't know what the crown does. Points, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna land up top! I knew it! I knew it! I was trying to get the candy! <laughs> that went really well! Is that gonna hit him? No, that's not gonna do anything. Can I ride it? Yeah, okay, here we go. This is gonna kill me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Knew it. <laughs> knew it! Dude! It would be insane to try a one credit clear of this. Insane. All right, well, I just lost, like, everything. That's okay. That's fine. I did not spell extend. I didn't get the candy. I didn't get anything. Oh, well. <laughs> Ray and Shadow Dread, welcome in. Dude! How? <laughs> you can just do it this way. This is the easy way to do it. I'm doing it the hard way. All right, Wizrobe is down. Sounds like a job for Mixer. No, it does not. No, it does not. I don't know. Probably try it one day. <laughs> I might actually do that one day. Well, it's either that or I like what? Play a new game one day? I don't care about new games. I don't care about that. What do you want me to play? Freaking Dark Souls? No. Of course not. Nobody wants to see that crap. We want to play these kind of games. <laughs> Who cares about that? There we go. Dark Souls. Jesus Christ. Overhyped. Overhyped nonsense. That's all that is. Or Eldrin Ring, for God's sake. Yeah. Gorilla, welcome in. <laughs> How's it going today, man? Good to have you here. Sphere, welcome in. Happy Friday. Good to have you here as well. Fang, what's going on? Welcome in. Bubble Bobbles of Dark Souls of the 80s. Clearly, right? Clearly. I, as a kid, I always wondered what video games would be like as I got older, and I was like, dude, I bet they're going to be like the most crazy, awesome things ever. Now that I am older, and I get to see them, they're not all they're cracked up to be the new games. <laughs> I still like these. I haven't played those games. I've seen them played like a million times. They look really boring. How could I know? Because I've seen them streamed a lot. They're over-streamed. Like crazy. Oh boy, yet another Dark Souls stream. Oh boy. Ah! Play some Eldren Rings. No thanks. I've seen it played too much. I've practically seen those games played all the way through like multiple times because they're so freaking hyped and popular. I'm glad people like them though. They're just like personally not for me. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! I was lucky. <laughs> That was lucky. Power Watch Simulator would probably be more fun to me than freaking Dark Souls would be. Urban Champion over Dark Souls? Me too, Neff. We're of one mind about this. Power Watch and Sim seem pretty intense. More intense than freaking Eldrin Ring, right? Beard Man, welcome in. So I remember seeing Mario 64 and thinking to myself that was as good as it could ever get. Looked like real life stuff to me. Me too! Me too! When Nintendo 64 came out, I was like, wow, look at this! This is insane. I saw Doom come out, Wolfenstein 3D, that kind of stuff. I was blown away. What does this do? I have no idea what these items do. <laughs> Got the green cane. I have no idea. Come on, man, really? Oh, I didn't know I could jump in there. All right, nice. Was that a bottle? Crunky, welcome in. How's it going today? Neff, that's your favorite fighting game, isn't it? Urban Champion. Back in a bit, gotta run some errors? No problem, man. No problem. Almost a quarter of the way through loop one already. This is, uh, we're making some good headway here. This guy's stuck. Oh, that's nice. I'll take some diamonds. I don't know what good they do, but I'll take them. Infernax, that game is hard and I'm stuck. I did Infernax off stream. That's a new game, a new retro game. So yeah, I played through that one off stream and I actually really liked it. It plays like Zelda 2, of course I would like it. How could I not? 
they all gonna just stay up there? And, yeah, it looks like they are good. I'll go up there and buy them. Here we go. Okay, you know what? This shoe upgrade I've got is actually hurting me here. Okay, I guess we can just go this way. <laughs> Forgot we could just climb this thing. I played Heart of Darkness on PS1. No, I've heard of that. You play as some kid fighting shadows or something. I, I remember seeing that game a long time ago. But I've never actually played it before. I have, like, no experience with PlayStation 1. I was kind of out of the loop for video games with that. I never actually had a PS1. I had a Nintendo 64 back in the day, but I didn't do a whole lot with it. Mostly to play Smash and Mario Kart. And then I played Ocarina of Time, and I hated that. And that kind of ruined me on 3D games for a long time. So, yeah! I, 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 I kind of moved on from there. PSX is too modern to me. It kind of is. It kind of is. I'll take Urban Champion over Best of the Best Championship Karate on NES. I rented that. It's not great. That karate game. You know what a, what a good karate game is? A uh, Karate Champ. The arcade version is actually pretty dang good. NES version, not nearly as much. What is this? What is that thing? Dude, I want to get that. I'm dead! <laughs> I'm level 25. Thank you, Crash, for the seven months. This means your arts remind me of the arcades of my youth. This was an arcade game, wasn't it? I never saw this in the arcades. I think my arcades only went for, like, games like... It went, they went for fighting games and things like that, because I never saw things like Gradius or anything in my arcades either. Which is a good thing. Nobody cares about Gradius. Nobody cares! I know a lot of people do. I hate Gradius, you guys know that. Bowser's Castle 150 was giving me trouble. What Mario Kart? Like, any of them. <laughs> any of them! Oh, that was big move. BIG MOVE! Yes! TMT Turnip Fighters is awful on NES. I rented that. That's a rare game, apparently, too. I rented it. I actually have it now. Gradius is great. No, it's not. No, it's not. Forced Deathless runs on first playthroughs of games are not cool. Sorry. <laughs> not cool. Crash, how's it going today, man? And welcome in. No life. What's going on? Nick, welcome in. Jaderg, what's up, man? I'm missing people coming in, and I'm sorry. I apologize. No lie. Thank you for the hundred bits. How did tennis finish up last night? You were working on tennis when I went to bed. It was late. NES Tennis. You know, one of the black box games. I love seeing those. They're basically almost like arcade games. They don't... Do they even have... Most of them don't even have endings, I don't think. They're just classics. They, they, everything was built in the style of an arcade game back in the day. Alright, can I get over here to this guy? Yes. No! Piece of crap! As far as the TMNT Tournament Fighters, is value sitting is sealed in box number two in my collection. How much is it worth? Probably a pretty good darn good bit. <laughs> it's not a great game, but the fact that it's a rare game makes it cool. I sold my copy of TMNT Tournament Fighters ten years ago for like $75. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> ouch, I bet it's worth a lot more than that now. I bet. There go the whiz robes. Oh, got them all in one shot. All right, I'll take all this crap. Oh, can we spell extend? No, we're missing the E. Johnny Bombs, welcome in. Gorilla with a gift sub to Reg. Thank you, Gorilla. Johnny Bombs, thank you for 100 bits. You guys don't have to do a hype train. No life getting things going there. With another 100 bits, biggest oof of some of my Clay Fighter sculptures cut in 2014 for $150. Isn't that, that's back, JSR, that's back when everything was like reasonably priced. And then like late, uh, the late teens, uh, like 2018, 2019, 2020, prices started going ballistic. Mr. Versetti, welcome in. Guy from Red Bank, welcome in. I hope you guys are having a great day. Mr. Versetti, thank you for the 100 bits. You guys don't have to do a hype train. Why are you doing it? No! <laughs> I don't deserve it. Look, I suck. I died. <laughs> trying to get good here. We have a long way. No, actually, we only have 70 more levels to go here. That's not that many for loop one. Especially considering how fast you can kind of go through this game. Swedish Nick, hope you're having a great day. Good to have you here. $2,200? Are you kidding? Wow! Okay, I haven't looked at prices in a while. 
I think the rarest game I have is Little Samson. I bought that used from Blockbuster. I'm not a collector or anything. I just happened to wind up with some stuff because I got a lot of stuff earlier. Not because, like, it was rare or anything. I got Final Fight Guy. I think that's kind of rare. Mighty Final Fight's kind of rare. So I've ended up with a couple of rare games here and there just by sheer dumb luck. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. How's this going to go? This is not like a fun level. Can we just do it like this? Oh, that guy's going to pop out and he's going to be pissed off. Yep. Crap. Forgot about that. Okay. I I'm trying to hurry. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> he's going to show up. There he is. I knew it. I knew it. Some of these levels are just obnoxious. Samson's like 2200-ish. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I would not... I, I would never sell any of my stuff, ever. I have no reason to sell anything. I just like owning the stuff and just having it. Little Samson worth the price. So just as a collectible thing, yeah, and it's a really good game on top of being rare also. I know there's rare games that, are, that suck, and there's there's uh, good games that are rare, so there's a little bit of everything. I'm going to get get this guy. Guy got him. All right, good. 100 hand slap. Welcome in. How you doing today? Nice opie haircut. I don't really have a hairstyle. <laughs> I have no style. The same hairstyle I had in high school. It's good enough for me then. It's good enough for me now. Hey, that went pretty good. <laughs> that went better than it should have. Yeah, some of these levels we're going to get through really quickly. When will we get a uh, little mixer game on NES? A shmup? Don't insult me by comparing me to a freaking shmup. Little Samson is terrific. It is a really good game. I enjoyed my playthrough of it quite a bit. In fact, that's a game I'd like to go back and try and do like a deathless run of. Yeah, we're making pretty good progress. I can't complain. It's honestly going better than I thought it would. I guess I'm going to jump in here and hope for the best. That went really well. <laughs> oh, they didn't all pop. I guess they weren't touching. That's fine. What a delightful little game. It's just fun. I know the boss is going to give me a lot of problems. I've seen it fall before. These days, I'll give away another copy of Samson. Ho Samson Hoarder here in No Life. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. That, he's giving copies away. How awesome is that? No Life, that's amazing. <laughs> I've gotten multiple games from you as well. It's, it's really cool. Thank you for just doing crazy stuff like that. Did I get the wall meat yet? Yeah, there is wall meat in this game, Kratos. Didn't you see it? Didn't you see it? Oh, you didn't see it? Well, you look quick. Little Samson's better than Little Nemo. I like both of them. I'm a fan of both. Oh, how am I going to get this guy now? Look at this guy, man. Look at this guy! I, I'm... Oh, and that other guy's about to show up, too. I like Little Nemo as well. I think it's good. I know some people have complained about that game. I see why. Oh, got him. Got him! Is Little Samson better than Little Ninja Brothers? I've never played Little Ninja Brothers, honestly. I know what game that is, but I've never tried it. Uh, Gary and Dan Kitchen? Yeah, screw those guys. They screw those guys and their awful game design. Ooh, I have the rapid bubbles here. Alright, well that worked really well. <laughs> Y'all got mowed down! Alright, is that going to, uh, spill out? Nope, it's not going to. No fruit! Meows, welcome in! You like this game? I do too. I'm a fan. I'm having fun. It's good, Meows. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Welcome aboard. Did somebody follow earlier? Did I miss a notification? No, I'm good. Okay. Just making sure. I mean, you won't try to battle tank anytime soon. I might. <laughs> the way things are going, no life. I, I might end up doing like you do and play ev try and beat every NES game. That, that could happen. <laughs> well, what am I going to do? Going to play do that or Dark Souls? Sounds like any, every NES game. It sounds way more fun to me. The freaking Dark Souls, I know. Good Souls like, I'm good at I am adopted, welcome in. No way around the time to get good. That's usually the way to get to do things, yes. Rainbow Islands after this? We might. We might, you never know. Might as well. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up playing everything before it's all said and done, really. All right, I think we can, yeah, we're just gonna go this way. Now I should be able to pop them all in one shot. Or at least close to it. All right, that, that was pretty neat. This is not Souls-like. No, don't don't dare compare this to Souls-like. All right, we're getting points. They won't be around this weekend, so hope you have a good birthday stream. I'm just 
just going to refrain from commenting there. Just going to refrain from commenting. No reason to. None at all, Glove. What are you guys in your alpha obsession? Good lord, what a bad show that was. A stupid show. <laughs> By the way, the government murdered Alf at the end. So yeah, happy ending. Real happy ending. All right, can I just set him on fire? I can. All right. That guy's gonna kill me. Nope, he's not. All right, got them all. <laughs> We're making good progress. Good progress. Alpha on Master System, aka Meat Slap Simulator. Such a bad game. One of the worst I've ever played. Really that bad. Nobody likes that game. I'm sorry. You, 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 if you're saying you like that Alf game on Master System, you're lying. I don't believe it. I have no idea what that thing was, but I got it. <laughs> Killed everything on the screen. That was actually pretty awesome. Alf did nothing wrong. Yay, he's an alien on planet Earth. They're going to capture him. They're going to slice him up and autopsy him and see how it works. See, they already did that. We got Area 51 here. That's all, That story's already taking place. Don't do, Alf is not funny. Thank you, guy from Red Bank. It's not funny at all. It's an idiot. He deserved what he got in the end. <laughs> I loved that when I was a kid. I was like, yeah! Go government! You destroyed him! <laughs> People compare any hard game to Dark Souls. That's why I make fun of Dark Souls all the time. Hey, it's these souls like! I played stuff that's like a million times harder than that crap. Please. Please, and I will play it on stream just to prove it's not all that crap it's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> yes, we will play it one day. I'm not gonna like it, I'm just gonna be like going through the motions and be like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? More of an Eldrin Ring fan? Yeah, that's basically like another Dark Souls game. More souls like! Did we get them all? No, this Wizrobe managed to elude me. Alright, I got him. Alright, now we're gonna blow them all up. Or at least some of them. Alright, there we go. Got him! Alright. Oh, I did it! I've never seen this before! All that for one up! <laughs> all that fanfare for a whole life! whoop de doo Alright, well, that's cool anyway. Glad I got to see that because I've never seen it before. Man, we are rolling. We are rolling. Let's do it again. Second verse, same as first. It's not a continue. No, it's just an extra life. Whoop the freaking do. It's a cool way to show it, though, right? Government was the heroes this time. They were. They were big time heroes. Look at that extend. Wolfmaster was fun hanging out with you late last night as well. <laughs> There's a lot of good late streamers and people that get on late that I rarely get to see a lot of times. Usually I have to pop in and be like, oh, what's up? And then I gotta go to bed. <laughs> it sucks! I need more free time! D -d Dude, there's 24 hours in a day. I gripe about this all the time. 24 hours is just not enough. I'm making good progress. It feels like I am. We're already at level 43? Yeah. This is going well. We've got 160 more levels to go, so yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. We gotta do loop two. Yes, we are doing loop two. That super bubble bobble expert mode or whatever. We're doing it. How am I gonna kill this guy? Uh, this is not going well. Got him! Okay, this is not gonna be easy. Look, their corpses are just flying through the air over there. Okay, they probably want me to get those guys with lightning. <laughs> More than likely, we're gonna need lightning to get those guys dead. Okay, just ruin lightning. All right, now I'm in trouble. You leave me alone. No. No! <laughs> yeah, they were, they were they were really pissed off. This red guy over here definitely is this whatever this thing is a flying red whale. I don't know what this is. All right, there we go. All right, I, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna snipe them like this. Good shot, nailed them. All right, let's try again. Oh, it went in between! <laughs> what are the odds of that? No! There's no way. The timing would have to just be stupid. Oh, 
never mind. I, I had it in the bag all along. Never mind. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. 44. S-O-O. Oh, send me out an S-O-S for what? I'm sending out an S-O-S. You know why? Because I got freaking Ocarina of Time sitting on my desk. All right, that went well. That was nice. More fruit, more crap I don't need. Keep getting distracted with everyone else streaming when I want to stream early. Get on earlier! All you guys that stream late, get on earlier so I can see you. I miss a lot of no-life streams. There's a lot of streams I miss that are gone late. All right, there we go. SOS for the death of Alf. Good. Don't call an SOS for that. Be happy it happened. Government got the job freaking done. When will I play Ocarina? I don't know. I, I keep putting it off. The, I'm going to play that. I, you know, I'm going to have to play that and Dark Souls. Crap, I just don't want to play. I'm going to do it anyway. Going to do it. I don't always play games I want to play. That's the way it works around here. Then we, we play garbage, too. So, yeah, that's another thing. All right. How about you leave me alone? Okay, I can't get up there. Got him. All right, easy. Easy. Now I watch most streams. Mixer starts about uh, 7 p.m. where I live, and then I watch stuff on YouTube. I was glad to find out. Schedule is nice for me. That My schedule is probably never going to change, Coffee. So if you like my schedule, it's probably going to be like this forever. I don't see any reason to change it, barring like something crazy happening in life. But I don't think that's going to happen, more than likely at this point. Which is good. I like being on the same schedule. Like Dark Souls, there's funny jank to be had. I don't think I'll like it at all. For one thing, it's 3D. Two, it's got modern looking graphics, and I hate both those things. Plus, it gets a lot of hype. I don't like hype. Yeah, I don't like anything that gets hype. So, yeah, there's a lot of negatives going into that. What's this do? Okay, I, oh, you just touch them now and they die. Okay, oh, this game's got a lot of weird power ups. Okay, okay, I bet that's time though. Okay, I can't get out of here. <laughs> okay, here, oh, that lasts forever. That's, uh... Get over there! There we go. Oh, it wore off! And the stupid guy's coming! What's his name? Baron Bubla or whatever. Bloodborne is a lot more superior to Dark Souls. The Chalice Dungeons are great. I'll have to take your word for it. <laughs> I will play Dark Souls 1, and that will be the end of the road. JD, what's up, man? Perfect emote. Welcome in, JD. Good to have you here, man. Kane, same. Welcome in, Kane. Hope you guys are doing good. Working on Bubble Bobble here. Going for the true ending. Gonna go for Loop 2. It's gonna be a long stream, more than likely. I know Loop 2 is gonna be hard. Just, dude, just getting through the boss of Loop 1 is gonna be tough. Because I've never actually fought that before. I've seen that, that fight before, but I've never fought it before. But you can see something done on stream and then try it yourself. It's completely different. Happy Friday to you as well, sir. Kane, we are having fun. Bell, welcome in. But you have to like the game because we do? Yeah, that's right. Everyone else loves Ocarina. I should love it too, right? I, I should just be completely unoriginal. Oh, the, yeah, enemies are getting more powerful. It's going to get harder as we go further into the game. The enemies are going to be stronger. Oh, is that going to just kill them all? Yeah, I think, no, these guys are still alive. Okay. Oh, I see this guy. Okay, he's going over here. I'm pretty powerful right now. I think I've got a bunch of upgrades. Mora, welcome in. Happy Friday to you, Earth Hunter. Welcome in. Good to have you guys here. Mixer's Cave into Pressure and is going to play 3D modern hype game Dark Souls. Yeah, only to prove that I'm not going to like it. I I'm going to go against the grain. Oh, look, French fries. F I got fries! You, would you like fries with that? No, I don't, I'm not a fan of fries, actually. The sad part is Mixer will never experience Dark Souls from release where everyone invades you and then camps or ganks you in bad situations. No, I, I see, that would make me hate it even worse. I like PvP games, but on my time, not when I'm trying to kill monsters and some random person comes up and just attacks me out of nowhere. Definitely not going to happen. In fact, I'm going to probably turn that off when I play it on stream, so that can't happen. There's a way to, like, play it in offline mode. I don't care about fighting other players. I just want to fight freaking monsters. That's all I want to do. And I just died. That's great. 
We're not playing Roblox. No, actually, that might be good, like April Fool's stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my stream new Super Roblox player, and we'll get new follows and stuff, and it'll be like ten year olds. They'll be like, "Oh boy, are you a Roblox player?" I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, Roblox is awesome." And then after that stream, I'm never gonna play it again. <laughs> That's my plan. That's my plan. Make a bunch of teenagers mad at me. Sounds good. Rito, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Good to have you here. Happily quirky, same. Hoss bags, welcome. Hope you guys are doing well. That's mean, I know, Vanessa. That's my plan. <laughs> it is mean. <laughs> I'm a mean person, though. Not really. I'm just kidding. That would be fun, though. That would be a lot of fun. Roblox, my goodness. Alright, can we kill these guys from here? Why do I hate Roblox? Because my cousin's kids talk about it, like, all the time. Anything that gets a lot of hype, I'm gonna automatically hate. Because it, it gets talked about too much. And we're still going. I've only continued, like, twice, and we're at level 51. That's pretty good. Hooters changed mixer? No, it didn't. I was just there, like, two weeks ago, Kane. It was fine. What even is Roblox? It's a game young kids really love. Like, are fascinated by. Obsessed with. I could go on and on. Look at all this. Wow. Okay. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm up there. Okay. I lost sight of where I was. All right. We'll take more fruit. Was that a piece of cake? There's so many weird items in this game. Vanessa says Ro Roblox is a lot different game. It's a lot of different games you can play. Yeah, a lot of different like baby games, right? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of different games for children. RX Flan, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate it, man. Good to, good to have you here. You don't have to sub, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Really kind. That was freaking awesome right there. I'll take more of this crap. Thank you very much. Oh, I was going to extend again. RX Flan, how you doing today? Welcome. Makes her feel the same way about snickerdoodles and tell you nice too much hype and I'm not interested. Sounds good. If he gets hyped, I don't like it. The more... The, see, my girlfriend and I, we play a lot of JRPGs. We try and find ones off the beaten path that don't get freaking hyped to absolute death. Too much hype. That was bad. Whiz robes! Alright, I was going for some box up there. What was that? The Ark of the Covenant? There was, there was some kind of box up there and I don't know what it was. I was going to try and go get it. Like the Ark of the Covenant to me. All right, got him. You've really seen Roblox and Minecraft looks okay. I've never even tried Minecraft before. That's another game my cousin's kids play. And if they like it, that means I'm just not gonna e ever even bother with it. <laughs> I know. I see the appeal more so though in uh, Minecraft because you can build stuff, and that that looks interesting for people that might want to do that. Personally, if I was, I would rather just get some Legos out and just build stuff and create blocks in a game, but yeah, that's just me. That's just me. Mixer dresses, no, not gonna happen. Roblox is garbage. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Never actually played it. Like, one day we probably will play it on stream. We'll see. Just as a joke stream, not like something I'm ever gonna, like, seriously get into. That, that would be impossible. Oh, got rapid bubbles. Okay, that's good. We can't die. I don't want to lose it. Now it's like Gradius. I've got power-ups, and when you die, you lose it. You don't want that. That's why Gradius sucks, losing power-ups. Sigma Steve, welcome in. Alabama football gets hype. Yeah, but we've won, more, we've won a ton of national titles, though. The hype is justified for that, Glove. That's different. That's different. Won, like, six national titles in, like, the past... 16 years. That's pretty good. <laughs> so that hype is well justified. Oh, I remember this level. Oh, crap. I'm, yeah, I think this is as far as I ever got as a kid. I kept dying here trying to climb up the middle and, and I got pissed off or something. Alright, so what do you do here? <laughs> it's gonna be something... Yeah. Nice. Alright, well, rip. <laughs> Fury, welcome in. Great game, bit repetitive, but still fun. Oh, shit! Crap, I accidentally hit continue. Okay, what was the password for that level we were just on? Does anyone know? Well, I gotta get put the password back in. Alright, thank you, Catman. Yeah, the, the default thing is not actually... Uh, <laughs> the def They don't put that by default. It, it starts on one player start. It's fine. We can get right back to where we were. 
with this nice handy password. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Gissy Ghost and Goblins does the exact same thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Catman, I appreciate it. Good lord, that shouldn't even be possible to do, but it is. Beautiful password system. They should all be that nice, shouldn't they? All right, now we got a situation. Yeah, we got a situation on our hands here. All right, here we go. I want you to do this. <laughs> This level sucks. Wow, this is very where a one credit clear. This is where a one credit clear would go to die. That's what would happen there. Try to avoid getting hit. I know I'm trying to, but how do you do that here? Any idea? I don't see any way to avoid it. <laughs> so they want you to see. It's just luck. It's random. Okay, that time I made at least I got one of them dead that time. Okay. The bullshit. This is a bullshit level, man. This is a bullshit level. <laughs> this is a bad level. You can go up the middle? No, you cannot. You cannot. See the the bubbles do Oh wait, maybe you can. No, I don't think you can. No, it's not gonna work. No, you cannot go up the middle. I think this is where I quit the game as a kid. I think this was it. Nope, can't go up the middle. And now this asshole's here. Beautiful. Beautiful! Now I'm jumping so fast I can't even make it up there. Okay, there we go. It's, it's just getting up here the first time that's a problem. Alright, done with that stupid level. Alright, now I'm in uncharted territory as far as I know. I've seen other people go beyond this point, but as far as me, I think that was it as a kid. I just gave up right there. <laughs> I was like, to hell with this game. No more. I liked it until I saw that. I knew it. I knew it! All right, we're still doing fine. I mean, we're at level 58. We're almost, we're over halfway done with loop one already. Nobody out pizzas the hut? Do they still say that? Or is that just old school? I don't remember. I don't watch commercials anymore. <laughs> Those days are over. Like my parents will see a commercial on TV from like, they have direct TV and they'll like, they'll be like, hey, have you seen this commercial? Wow, that was close. And they'll be like, did you see this awesome commercial? I'm like, I don't watch commercials anymore. What is this, the 1980s? Really? I have played Solomon's Key, Cyber Blue Neon. Welcome in. How you doing today? That was a good start. That was really good. And, uh, but I have not actually beaten it before, so we will do that one on stream at some point. Enemies are getting obnoxious now. Now we're actually fighting enemies that have range attacks and stuff. But yeah, I, I am looking forward to playing that game. It's gonna be fun. People are gonna get mad because I'm gonna screw up some of the puzzles, but that's all part of the fun on a first playthrough. That's a game I rented. But it's a good one. TV, never heard of it? It's ob That's some obsolete thing now, TV. Modern commercial is just offensive to me. I haven't watched any, but I bet they're just stupid. That would be my guess if they're just really dumb. Alright, how's this gonna work? Can I catch up with these guys? Probably not. No. Alright, we'll get them on the other side. Alright, so which side are they gonna go down? That's the question. Alright, so they're gonna fall. They're gonna be right in front of me. Alright, I'm trying to hurry. Mixer's my TV. I, I watch Twitch more than I ever, like, would do TV and something. You know, like, turning on TV and there's, like, a sitcom or something on. I could never do that again. I didn't like sitcoms back in the day anyway. So, uh, Dendy, welcome in. Solomon's Key is hard. Beat Fire and Iso, that's also a good one. I've heard that's good, too. I've heard those are both good. I'm dead, because these things are assholes. I'm not a fan. These things are on some later level suits that I've... Yeah, see, I've seen other people play this. And these things cause problems. These, what are these, space invaders? These look like... Really?! Wow! Okay, we'll drop on them from above. 
Did I watch Alabama games on TV? Oh, over at my parents' place, I do. Yeah. Over at my dad's, he's got Direct TV. That's an old relic from a bygone age. But yep, yeah, he's got it, and it does work out good for some stuff, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, now what? Now what? Let me guess, I'm supposed to kill them before they get in those little spots. Yeah. <laughs> Time for super drunk? Hey, Hacksaw, what's up, man? We're getting there. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. I hope. <laughs> yes! This sucks! Adult Swim used to be good TV. I liked old school Adult Swim, yes. Saw some really good stuff there back in the day. I think it's still around, is it not? There's still Adult Swim going on, but it's probably like no, nowhere close to as good as it was. I'm guessing, JD. Oh my god, look at this. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't jump in there. Okay, now they're pissed off. I'm pissed off even more so, so. Really? Okay, well I can do that, but now how do I get the other guy? How are we going to do it? <laughs> Alright, uh... Yeah, it's going to be something like that. Okay. Got him. Alright, I should have just done that from the beginning. I haven't played this in freaking forever. So these little trick moves and stuff, it's going to have to be a learning thing. Adult Swim is back and better than ever. Nah. I don't buy it. I don't buy it, Neff. Mm-mm. Better than ever. No way. Not a chance. This is kind of working, yeah. Not working at all! <laughs> God, these things suck! <laughs> what? No, yeah, okay. Remember what I said about maybe attempting a one credit clear at this one day? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's never going to happen. As obnoxious as these levels are getting, no. Alright, let's try and just get right here. I want to finish him off. There we go. There we go! No harm done. First time where Alabama could have a really mediocre year, it's possible their playoff team is possible they don't win the West. I have been... I'm a little worried about this year for sure, Glove. I, I have a feeling it's not going to be a great year, but I'm kind of expecting that. There's going to be a lot of bad fans out there that are going to be like, HOW DARE YOU LOSE TWO GAMES?! I'm going to be like, dude, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's more than likely going to happen. All right, more of these assholes, yeah. All right, so this is like a baby level compared to that other one. Yeah, see, that, that's much easier than the one we just did a second ago. It's an easy mode of that. The balance in this game is all over the freaking place. Rydia, welcome in. I know, how dare I lose two games? How dare I? The time Adult Swim aired Saved by the Bell and Pee-wee's Playhouse? Pee-wee's Playhouse. Is that really on Adult Swim? It couldn't have been. There's no way. Oh. Could these guys be a bigger asshole right now? These are my least favorite enemies in the game. Rydia, how you doing today? I'm an LSU fan. I have no idea what the season's going to be like. Hey, you guys beat us last year, man. <laughs> you played well. My hat's off to you. You played really well. That's how you do that level. <laughs> That's how you do it. It's easy, right? Yeah. I'm doing good, Riddy. I'm doing good. Things are rolling. What's the worst Adult Swim ever? Soul, Soul of the Mole Men? Uh, I'm going to go with... Tim and Eric's awesome show, Great Job. Mostly because that's the most stupid, idiotic name I've ever heard. <laughs> Who comes up with that kind of shit? Holy crap. <laughs> I hated it. I thought it was terrible, but yeah, that's just me. That's just me. If you name a show like that, you're going to get on my nerves real quick. All right, here we go. All right, I know what to do here. It's fine. All right, now the levels are easier. <laughs> the balance in this game's all over the freaking place. Did like the one the with Tom goes to the mayor? I didn't like that either. Paul Rudd's computer. Nope, didn't see that. And I tried to, to skip that kind of crap. <laughs> I just didn't like it. 
I didn't like it. The oldest school Adult Swim stuff that came on right when it started. I don't remember when this was. 2004, 2005. That's when it was at its best. I don't know. The time got on. It just got stupider. But that's just me. That's just me. And uh, J-Dog, what's up, man? Hey, between you and Goten, I decided to play this. Between you guys. So that's why you're seeing this. This has been on my list for a long time, and I've always wanted to get into it. But you guys have been playing it, and I kind of wanted to jump in. I hate these in Space Invader things. Metalocalypse, that's okay. College football starts again tomorrow. Iron Torch, welcome in. Link, welcome in. You think Tim and Eric was the stupidest show ever? I actually aged pretty well. I'm not giving it a chance. <laughs> what hit me? <laughs> what even hit me right there? I couldn't even... You know what? This game's pretty technically impressive about all this crap moving on the screen. And it doesn't really slow down. It flickers a little bit. But as far as slow down, it's very, very, very light. Were y'all gonna win the Iron Bowl? Yeah. Of course. We win it like 75% of the time. We got like 17 national titles. Auburn's got like two. So yeah, we're, we're clearly the superior team. But they think they are. That's where we have a problem. That's where the problems happen. Oh, look at these moves, dude. No. <laughs> look at these. Okay, you know what? This shoe upgrade is actually not very good because it's harder to jump. Am I going to have to go down this middle? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Clearly right. So you anger a fan base? What? Tell them they suck? Well, Auburn does suck. I mean, the numbers back that up. <laughs> they do. That's not, a, that's not my choice. Because that one year they won it with a 100-yard field goal return. Yeah, they got lucky, man. The, their greatest play in their entire history is, we got lucky. Wow. <laughs> wow, congratulations. You got lucky. Did I not die from that? No, somehow I survived through all that. Wow. That was insane. Screw you, level 42. Ed Horse, welcome in. How you doing today? I don't remember what was going on in level 42. I don't like 57. That's my least favorite level. But things are going pretty good here. I can't complain. No! <laughs> Who's going to do that level deathless? And the spring kill me. It's level 69. What do you expect? What do you expect? Not much. I was gonna say, can I get the candy? Because that's like a weapon upgrade. Super Cloud, welcome in, man. Thank you for the raid. Good to have you here. I was trying for the 1cc, 42 wrecked me. 1cc in this game, dude. My hat's off to your attempts at that, because that's bonkers. <laughs> Super Cloud, what is up, man? Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. What are you working on? What is going on? Dr. Wiley approves a level 69, clearly, right? <laughs> the good doctor here. Okay, the fire things are going exactly where I don't need them to be. What are you working on, Super Cloud? Good to have you here, man. Oh, I... No, Uh-oh. <laughs> I saw that coming. Okay. You would really have to memorize how to do every level if you're going to go for one credit clear. Which, obviously, I have no idea how I would do it. Chid, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Level's terrible. <laughs> Level 70 sucks. Game is way... I was playing Castlevania 1 for the first time. Game is way too hard. No. It, it is a very difficult game on a first playthrough. Do not worry about that. That's a game you will improve with a lot as time goes on. But on a very first playthrough, man, it's brutal. I remember my first time through Castlevania 1. It's something. It is something. I think I see a safe spot here. Are you enjoying it, though? That's what matters, whether you're having fun. Hopefully you're having fun with it. I love Castlevania. Almost it might be my favorite overall series. No, my favorite series is not Dark Souls, before someone asks. <gasps> but makes your Dark Souls is the greatest thing, hardest game ever! Whatever. Gotta get the holy water. <laughs> that is the key for uh, Castlevania 1, yes sir. That is it. Go for a Deathless run in Castlevania 1 without holy water. That would be fun. I'll try that sometime. This has only continues. Yes, it does. This is only loop one, though. 
So it's going to get a lot harder, Hacksaw. <laughs> the difficulty is going to be exponentially higher, especially on loop two. And we do have the boss fight looming for level 100, and we have to go through a secret door uh, on... Uh, can you stop talking about that Dork Souls game? I, yeah, I, I should do that. Absolutely. It gets so much hype, though. I, I have fun making fun of it because it gets so much hype. All right, here we go. Dude, how little time do they give you? Should have killed those other guys first, yeah. Screwed that up. Hype is real. I hate that word. I don't like anything about hype. Not a fan. Usually things that are overhyped are not anywhere close to living up to it. Okay, so now I have to deal with this guy. That's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be fun. These are the kind of situations that would completely annihilate a one credit clear. Okay, I kind of see what I have to do here. Yeah. Perfect. All right, and we got ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. I do like the Soul Series, but I love retro more. I'm glad people enjoy anything they enjoy. I'm really glad they do, no matter what it is. I only played Dark Souls 1, I don't know about the other games. No one talks about the second one, I don't know why. It's always 1 and 3, I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but I'm an idiot when it comes to those kind of games, so that, and I'm happy to be one. Alright, clear that. Let's see, some levels are fairly easy. Others take more work. Risa Cola, welcome in. You love this game? It's a fun one. It's a fun one. We're already up to level 73 of Loop 1, so we're making really nice progress there. I'm happy with it. Only been streaming about an hour so far, too, so this is good. This is good stuff. I'll take that water bubble. Well, I guess not. I did not get hit! What? Really? Demon Souls my favorite. That's how that's retro now, right? No. Retro stop retro gets cut off at PlayStation 1. Uh <laughs> comes with an unpopular opinion, by the way. Uh Retro to me gets cut off at that did not go according to plan. I was going to ride that wave down and get him. But no, see, this is one of those obnoxious levels. That's what this is. Retro, to me, stops at N64, PlayStation 1, and Saturn. That's where, to me, it's the end of retro. PS2, to me, will never be retro. Neither will any Souls or any of that kind of stuff. Never. I don't care if it's been out 8,000 years. To me, it's still not. Retro era is these kind of games. All right, that worked out. Retro's cut off at Pong machines for me. I can, I can support that. Nothing wrong with that, Neff. That's closer to what I'm thinking anyway. It's a lot to be said for these early NES games. Some of the simpler looking ones are actually very clever. I agree. They didn't have a whole lot of, like, stuff to work with at this time period at all, Vanilla. So it's impressive that we got anything at all. Atari 2600, same thing. GameCube is my cutoff. GameCube still looks a little too modern for me. Ed Horse, I like the way you think. <laughs> I like the way you think with that. That is good. None of this... Oh, PS3 is modern. I mean, PS3 is retro. No, it's not. For God's sake. It is not. All right, that guy's gonna die. That guy's gonna die. All right, these guys are all piling up down here at the bottom. Okay, they're gonna send that asshole in after me. Baron Bubler or whatever. TI-83, see, that's that's retro. Apple II, that's retro. Amiga, Commodore 64, I would, all that stuff for sure. But no, not PS3. <laughs> Absolutely not. Still put PS2 and GameCube in the retro category, you don't have to connect to the internet, and they're still meant to be played on CRT. I don't know, the games, that's when games started looking like, it started getting that modern style. Blast Core's Retro, it is, even though I don't really care about playing it, it is. It absolutely is. Oh my god, I hate these things. Alright, there we go. These are my least favorite enemies in the game, and it's not anywhere even, it's not even close. Alright, I think we, yeah, we got them all. Oh, what? I didn't even see that guy! Wow! <laughs> It's a 
<laughs> Same guy! Beer Baron, what's up? Welcome in. How's it going today? Is the Abacus retro? Yes. The PlayStation 3 is not. Th th that really annoys me when people call PlayStation 3 retro. Based on technology, not year. Me too. A lot of people do it by year. Which means one day, things like uh, PlayStation 20 will be retro. I'm sorry. I, uh -uh. Can't go with that. Can't do it. I don't care about what, you, what year. I care about, like, what era more so than what year. Alright, get this guy. We're almost there. We're making really, really good progress on this. Are these guys in the game as well? No. No red aramers and bubble bobble, thankfully. If it has HDMI output, it's not retro. This divide line, as far as I'm concerned. Scott Stone, I see where you're going with that. I really do. Uh, Foyf, welcome in. Scott Stone, good to have you guys here. I'll be plugged into my old folks' home then. Me too. Me too. I often, like, people are retiring into... Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so this is going to be egg free loot, I guess. All right. Okay, we have a time limit to get all this stuff. I see that. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> There's no way this is designed for two players. I'll get what I can get. How would you get all these within the time limit? Actually, I might have gotten them all if I'd gone... F yeah, I would have gotten them all. Holy crap. It was too slow. Your way of thinking is retro? I'm glad. That's what I want. Retro the OG consoles, none of those sequels. Yeah, but that might mean not Super Nintendo. I, can, I don't think I can go with that. <laughs> Boy, how you doing today? Screw these things. I hate these things. All right, we got some of them dead. All right, finish the others off from right here. All right, one survived, and it's probably going to kill me. Nope. Got him. Perfect. Perfect! And we got some extra lives. Yep, potion it varies per level. That's what I was thinking. We need to divide it into more categories. The PS2 era is much different than digital microtransaction slot coming out today, but it's not really retro either. See, the, it, it's kind of in its own category then, I would say, Chid. Oh, this looks... Oh my god, look at the obnoxious amount of things going on this level. Okay, we're going to have to do something like that. Okay, I think I can hit them from here. Yeah, I can. Okay. Dude, don't tell me to hurry. I'm doing the best I can. All right, here we go. Dude, I have no lives left. further than that. You know, see, we're encountering difficulties now. This was the best two-player game. Yeah, I played it two-player a long time ago. It is a good one. Any of these games would... Oh, what is it? I don't remember what that does. We're gonna get it. Oh my god, that was lucky. That was just a little bit lucky. <laughs> just a little bit? Wow! All right, I'll take all that crap. They gave us an extra life. Holy undemocratic in that retro is what I say it is for me. It's all opinion after that. May as well be honest. Mine too. Screw democracy when it comes to that. <laughs> Just screw it. All right. I oh, there's the Ark of the Covenant over there. What's that? Th that box. I want to see what that is. And we're not going to be able to get it. It's going to despawn. Who's played uh, Indiana Jones on... Uh, on Atari 2600. That's a really interesting game. I like it a lot. I didn't make it. I knew that was going to happen. Look how short a time they spend inside a bubble now. The bubble mechanics are so similar, but the game is not. Is there another title that has similarities? I'm having youthful flashbacks. Not that I can think of right off the bat. There are other bubble bubble games, and I think there's one for Master System. There's an arcade ver or version. I need a drink. My throat's drying out. Best two-player game so much when I was playing this with my friend on the Commodore 64 family. We're buying the family dog. Sorry, Prince. I was busy. Regrets. No regrets. This is a... Uh, the guy, I know. This is a... When you're into this kind of game as a kid with another player, it's fascinating. Selling my parents' copy of Raiders of the Lost Ark on Atari 2600. It's a good game. 
It's a bit cryptic and hard to figure out, but I remember really liking it when I was very young. And no, it was not Souls-like before somebody brings that up. I know somebody's gonna be like, hey, Mixer, that was like on Atari 2600, but it was Souls-like. Oh, well, yeah, right. <laughs> right! Souls-like on the Atari. I beat you to it. Rat, welcome in. How's it going today? Good to have you here. I am so sorry about your save game in Super uh, Metroid. However, you know exactly what to do to get back to that point. You know how to beat Kraid, you know how to beat that plant thing in Brinstar. So you're going to make progress back really quick, and hopefully that won't happen again. Eater of Worlds, welcome in. Good to have you here. Welcome aboard. Welcome in, Rat. Welcome in, Eater. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I don't like these space invader things. They're absolute assholes. Just ruining everything I want to do. How are we going to do this? Oh, the bubbles go to the middle every time. Yeah, the bubbles go to the middle. So yeah, I guess we have to put up with this thing. You screw you! These guys are throwing bottles. We're on level 82. It's going good. Rad, I'm so glad you're enjoying Super Metroid. It is a great game. And the first playthrough is always the most fun by far. I did. I think I played it when I was like 14 the first time, or maybe like 15. I loved it. I thought it was great. Okay, with that guy dead, we no longer have a threat. Those are the worst enemies in the game, I swear. These are kind of annoying, too. This looks like the final boss. These are like miniature versions of the final boss. Dragon, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? I always like Journey Escape on Demon Attack on Atari 2600. Retro fan, those are great. I had both those. Those are high-quality Atari games. I need to stream some Atari 2600 sometime. That would be fun. Okay, now what? <laughs> Look at the guy in there! Holy crap, I am so dead here. Unless I can get him to jump out, which is definitely doable. There he goes. Okay, now we're gonna go to the bottom and try and kill him before this guy gets me. Don't you jump back in there! Got him. In television? Yeah, why not? Why not? Mini super drunk? That's what those are. Rat Samus is so cool of a costume. Zero Samus costume is freaking awesome. That is some of the best cosplay I've seen yet. That is amazing work, Rat, on that cosplay. I was so impressed with that. I've never actually played... Oh my god, really? That was my fault. Oh, I got that going, though. Hopefully that'll kill the Space Invader guy. No! <laughs> Alright, I think this is not a good power-up for this level. That's not going to do a whole lot except get itself soft-locked over there. Journey Rock Band had their own video game. They did. I had that game. And I'm dead. Alright, yep. See, the levels are a lot harder once you get to this point. Zero Suit Samus and Smash Brothers. That's the only time I've played as Zero Suit Samus. Like, what Metroid was that originally from? Is it one of the... It's not one of the 3D ones, is it? It's not freaking first-person shooter Metroid. It's a better one than that. It's better than... I know, I'm knocking Metroid Prime or whatever it is. It's 3D, I know. I hate first-person shooters. You guys know that. It's a good game, I know. Technically, just not for me. <laughs> that, that's the difference here. Metroid should not be a first-person shooter. Retro Frito, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Rainbow Island on NES, there's two versions. Yeah, one by Taito and one by Ocean. Ocean looks more faithful to the arcade. Oh, you're telling me Ocean actually made a good game? Is that what you're saying here? Because Ocean usually makes the worst garbage imaginable. I like, I dislike Ocean more than LJN by a lot. Alright, so we're going to have to do like... <gasps> uh, excuse me, I was jumping in there. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, at least maybe we'll make it now. There we go. Zero Mission, that was the first one? Okay. Prime 2 is my number one Metroid game, had an incredible amount of depth. I hate first person. I have a problem with first person. That That's, that's just me, though. That's a me problem. 
That's another one. That's another genre that I that to me wore out as welcome a long time ago. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? No. Screw all those things. How do you play TF2? Then I don't. I'm probably never gonna play it again. I'm done. I'm done with first person. And I didn't play that seriously, and I didn't even play the objectives in that game. All I did was run around and kill other players. Didn't care about objectives. All right, yeah, kill me. Kill me, enjoy it, have fun. You ever play Burger Time? Yeah, I like Burger Time. Burger Time's a classic. I really like it. It's not easy, but it's a lot of fun. Big time classic stuff there. Uh, I think I'm defending myself from these enemies because these things are really obnoxious. Makes are like second person shooters. No, actually third person I can somewhat tolerate depending on what type of game it would be, but I'm so burned. If I have ever burned out on anything in my life, it's first person shooting. I, I just can't do anymore. I was a competitive player back in the day. If you're not a competitive player in those games, you, you're, you might not understand what I'm talking about. But cause the, the level of competition is extreme, the stress is ridiculous, and it's just not ever something I want to do again. Ever. And if you've not been down that road, you might not understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, I was a competitive player in Quake back in the day. And soon Naughty, welcome in. How's it bubbling this afternoon? It's going great. We're already up to level 87. <laughs> We're going really quickly, if you can believe it. Thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate it so much. Congratulations on your progress in Castlevania 3. You know, you, you know, you could finish that any stream now. You're that close to the ending. <laughs> Playing as Grant with his tiny little knife, right? This is about how long Grant's knife is. Yeah. If you never played Castlevania 3 and never played as Grant, this is how long his knife is. <laughs> I like playing as Grant, but man, it can be a little bit frustrating. It's actually extremely frustrating. <laughs> Naughty, thank you for the resub. I really appreciate it. 17 months. Incredible. <laughs> Small knife is it, I know, right? Oh, Grant's more of a girth guy. I like Gr Grant is freaking awesome, but you have to put up with his tiny knife. You see, here's the thing with that. In the Japanese version, Grant's regular weapon is a range weapon. They, the North American release makes it way harder than it should be. They didn't want kids to rent it and beat it. That's the thing. So anything in North America, South America that was released during that time, the Japanese version is much easier. I played around with it off stream and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> this is insane, but yeah, that's the story behind why that knife is the way it is, and I'm dead. Oh, he handles stairs, well, yes. Yes, the stairs, oh my god, the stairs. I'm having flashbacks to getting stuck on stairs and like Castlevania games and losing challenge runs because of the stairs. Rat, you gotta get back to Castlevania 3. That was fun watching that. It's not size that matters, it's how you use it. Do you have to have the alpha mode with everything you say, Neff? I'm getting disturbed. Why is this stuck in the middle? <laughs> this little toy monster thing is in the wrong spot. Okay, I'm about to die. Alright. <laughs> Dude, really? That's called trolling! STA, what the hell does that mean? STA. I can't think of anything. There's no acronyms for that. SGA, I know, because I was in that in school, but I don't know about STA. Stupid trolling asshole. What would that be, Gradius 2? Yeah, clearly, right? <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. Super Trolls of America. That'll work. That'll work. I know all about SGA, Student Government Association. I was involved with that in high school. What a freaking waste of time that was. STA. <laughs> a no! It does not stand for ALF! Plato Manius, now I got the cart not too long ago. Perfect. I'm looking forward to that. I love Castlevania 3. I think that's probably my favorite game I played on stream that I did never played before seriously. I think that was it. Alright, I'm in the wrong spot again. Alright, he's in a bubble, now what? And this guy's coming for me, and I have no lives left. <laughs> this is a disaster. 
monster. All right, let's get in. Okay, let's pull him over here. All right. No! No! No, you're not gonna catch me. I'm faster. Uh oh, I'm in the corner. Thought you could catch me, you piece of shit. I can't get to the guy in the bubble now! <laughs> Look how fast this guy is now! I can't get there! Yes! <laughs> Monica, welcome in! How you doing today? Stream that Alf? I streamed Alf! I beat that game! I'm like the only, one of the only people that's ever beaten ALF. Everybody talks about it, but nobody wants to freaking play it. And the new rule, you can't talk about that game until you beat it. <laughs> That'll shut everyone up. Just sub to ALF. Screw you, Chid. I hate you. The whole, what, the bone whale guy's legit scary. He is. I remember being intimidated by that guy as a kid. I was like, holy shit, this is actually kind of frightening. <laughs> No, you meant to stream the TV show. I don't care. Stream it if you want. He dies in the end anyway, so go for it. <laughs> no, no one cares. All right, that went really well because that was an easy level. And Big Apple, Momo Sodas, welcome in. Good to have you here. I'll play it. Don't challenge Rat with Jank. It's one of the jankiest games in history. It's one of the jankiest you will ever see. I made a better move than that, excuse you, game. I did not get hit there. No! <laughs> Alright, see how much harder the later levels are? We're at 89, we're making really good progress. At 99, we're gonna have to do something crazy. There's like a secret thing you have to pull off if you want to get the good ending. Bad start there. I beat Nalf, Neff, stream it or it didn't happen. Sorry. It's time to start streaming or I'm not gonna believe you. I don't buy it. I have to see it with my own eyes. Otherwise, I think you're just making that up so you can keep using the emote and feel not guilty about it. Beat now for the stick count? Yes, that does count. Kill him. Kill him! Salami is a weapon. It's like the dumbest game ever. Even the developer of that game admitted it was garbage. That's, you know things are bad when. Then you have the developer of Superman 64 actually claiming the game's not that bad. I saw it on Twitter. I responded. I was like, dude, this is like one of the worst games ever made. I don't want to hear it. He didn't respond to me, of course. He knows I'm right. <laughs> Alpha's jank spelled wrong, I agree. Alright, this red whale guy, we're gonna get him. Yep, got him. That was an easy version of lower 57. But Salami can hit harder than the small knife. It actually kind of hits hard. <laughs> it kind of hits hard. The problem is the hitbox on it is so bad. You guys got to play it. Rat, you play it. Tsunati, play it. Everybody play ALF. I'm giving out in homework and instructions. <laughs> you have assignments to work on. ALF, get it done. <laughs> You're going to be hating me before it's all said and done. It's really that bad of a game. Look at this craziness. I'm dropping fire. No, do not fall down there. Okay. Okay, how are we going to get this last guy? And this guy's showing up again. God, no! Oh, that was close. That was really close. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I don't know how to get him. Salami does hit hard. It really does. For all, like, one millimeter of its attack range. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how I'm going to get this. That did not fall in there. There's got to be a way. Can't get him that way. This is going to take a perfect shot, I think. Yeah. Here we go again. I That might have done it, but I didn't, like... How do you do this? Okay, this is clearly where I wanted to... Oh, no. Uh oh <laughs> Okay. No! 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 What? The bubbles are going down! 
<laughs> no, capitalist, welcome in. Trash cat, heck, trash cat, heck and chonker, welcome in. Great name, I love that name. Yes, this level is a troll level. This is the definition of a troll level. I cannot let that guy fall down there. All right, I think we got them all there. All right, that's all you had to do is just get a random bomb to finish the level. That's all you needed to do. <laughs> see what? Uh, see, I got good. That, see how easy the level was when I got good at it. <laughs> see how easy? That's called getting good. <laughs> Clearly, souls. Oh my God! Yes, yeah, so souls like. Yeah, anything hard is souls like. Forgot about that. I was not even looking where I was. There. I was looking at the bubbles. All right, almost. All right, they're pissed off. I see it. Got them. I'm hurrying. Shut up. Salami, cheese, Ritz crackers, and an S-tier snack. Dude, I used to eat that at lunch all the time in elementary school. That sounds great. And then I had to take my lunch in junior high school because the food they were serving was, like, nuclear waste or something. I Rams, are you in here? Uh, I, I do have an old friend from my childhood that does hang out here occasionally. It backed me up on Riverside Junior High School having like the worst food in the history of mankind. I swear to God, they were trying to kill kids with that shit. Getting good RNG. Hey, I didn't say what type of getting good. I just said getting good. What's up, Sweet Thunder? <laughs> you saw what I was talking about. Lunchables! Metal Sonic fan, welcome in. How's it going today? Good to have you here. KZM, what is that? Sounds like a radio station. I don't know what all these references are for. Well, that was nice. Oh, crap! What's the cross do? I want that. I guess we're not going to get it. It's going to despawn. I really wanted that cross. Crap. <laughs> was wondering if it was going to be like a Castlevania thing. Of course not. We had Taco Bell for us in my lunchroom in high school. So many soft tacos consumed. What? What? And I was getting fed garbage and you're eating freaking fast food and I'm, well, fast food is kind of garbage. Never mind, but that's beside the point. <laughs> All right, I got good at that level. Man, I'm so good. Look how well, look how awesome I did on that level. <laughs> it's the best I've ever done, Enigma. I know, right? What does all this stuff mean? Just random letters and crap. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, this looks fun. Oh, this looks fun! Uh oh. What if I just go like that? I, I, yeah, I was wondering what the mushroom does, too. There's a lot of items in this game. I have no idea what they do. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I... No. Alright, what if I just... I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I can't reach it! What are the objectives of the levels? Kill every enemy on the level and you move to the next level automatically. That's all you have to do is kill the enemies. A simple objective, but it can be quite maddening to pull off sometimes. See, now I didn't do anything right and they're all in there. That's great. I'm dead again. You know what? We might be stuck on this level for a bit because I have no idea what to do with it. I can face tank my way in for a second and then I'm going to be out of lives. Yeah, you shoot the bubbles, and then once they're in a bubble, you run up and pop the bubble, and it kills all the enemies inside. Kind of a neat little concept. I'm, I'm surprised that they they came up with something so unique back in the day. I'm, dude, there's no way to do this. G G G G B, you suck. Zaylin, what's up? I got unfollowed somehow. Probably mobile issues. Yeah, I saw you refollowed. I was like, what is Zaylin? I was like, Zaylin, are you causing a problem here? What are you doing? I'm just kidding. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> Great fun in Mario Kart the other day. 
We had a blast in Wolfmaster's stream playing Mario Kart. I I'm glad Hungry Gurria doesn't hate me. <laughs> after, I after I went after her. <laughs> I'm glad she doesn't hate me. It's all good. <laughs> we had a good time. Zaylin, hope you're doing well. Welcome in, man. But yeah, you put them in a bubble and then you ram into the bubble with the dinosaur and they die. It's a, it's a neat little concept. Sometimes sleepy time with mobile can be an issue. I have a lot of issues with mobile with this type of stuff. I, have, I don't know what to do here, man. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. Oh, I think I just got an idea. Okay. Alright, I think I got something to work with with this. Sometimes unfollow without knowing about it. I've done it before, too. And Metal Sonic fan, thank you for the follow. And Zaylin, thank you for the refollow. <laughs> welcome back! Nice to meet you! I've only known you for two years, but welcome in. <laughs> oh, use of sub weapons. What sub weapons? What, what are you talking about, Cruddas? Tell me to get the wall meat while you're at it. Alright, they're all dead. Now we have to figure out how to get this guy. Alright, so it's gonna be something like this. Well, I was on the right track. We're gonna get there. Follow Mixer to Perdition. That's right. That's right, Beer Baron. Why would you not want to do that? You get the cherries. What is this? Freaking Pac Man? Cherries? Okay, I would like to get that candy over there because that's a power up. Okay, that's not really going to help. All right. I'm hurrying! <laughs> Trying for the true ending. Yeah, Capitalist. Going to give it a shot. Gonna give it a shot. I'm hoping for the best here. At level 99, we have to find a secret door. I have a rough idea of how to do it, but it's gonna take some work, kinda like this level. This level's terrible. I can't do this level. If you used to model mobile, there's a ton of us in the channel I mod. Gemini Steven, welcome in, man. How you doing today? We got two of them dead already. That's a good start. Mobile with like modding and like creating clips and stuff feels like impossible. It good ending, make sure to tape it with your VCR. I tried to do that one time for real back in the day and it did not work. And my parents didn't want me to screwing around with the big TV with video games, so I rarely got to play, do anything like with a VCR. Dude! How? What? This is insane! went away. Alright, we're getting there. I, I tried. Right? That's gotta count for something. No! Oh! Alright, get them all! Don't let them get in there! No! <laughs> Alright, I'll take one death. That's fine. That's fine. One death is fine. Alright, now we have to do that two more times and we'll finish the level. Alright, he killed me, but I've got an extra life. Alright, this is it. This level's horrifying, dude. Got him! No! Double KO! <laughs> Look at that! I beat the level, see? <laughs> Double KO again, but that time it was in my favor. Uh... Very ra very rarely do you see a double KO in a video game go in the player's favor. It's like almost never. Okay, they're not staying in bubbles very long anymore. All right. <laughs> hey, that worked great. That was that was my plan all along. It's fine. Okay, all I did was put them in the same room. All right. I almost got him with the lightning. Don't you know? Okay. Uh uh. All 
I was in control the entire time. <laughs> the entire time we're about to fight the boss soon, and we have to do the... Alright, level 99 is gonna be... Oh, we, wait, it, level 100 is not actually the boss fight, I forgot. There's like extra levels and stuff you have to do. I think... I've not actually tried this before. I've seen people talk about the secrets and stuff forever. This is my first time to actually try and do all this crap. Okay, how am I gonna deal with this? They're throwing bottles at me. EASY! Happened to Goten the other night, he died and it took him to the next level anyways. That's right. That did happen. It's possible. Ties in this game are actually ties. Unbelievably enough. One side doesn't really get favored over the other. Wow, oh, this is awful looking. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna use iframes because I can't do it without them, clearly. Alright, where's that guy gonna pop out of his bubble? There he is. Perfect, alright. Now we have to do something secret on the next level, so this is gonna take some work to figure out, and I think you only get one shot at it. Double KO, it's strike. Yeah, but that time, Link, I won. That time I actually won doing it. Alright, so where's the... Okay, this is the... Okay, that is the item we have to get to. We have to get... See this orb thing right here? What's gonna happen here is once you get this orb, it spawns a secret door in this spot right here. So we gotta grab this, and then this is only up for a certain amount of time, and then you have to get in here, and this door spawn. There's a door that spawns behind this enemy, and you have a limited amount of time to get that. So there's a bit of a problem here, so I've gotta hurry and... I don't even know how to get over there. I d wasn't even able to get over there. Alright, so and it doesn't respawn, so you get one shot to do it, and you have like seven seconds or whatever to get over there. Now I can't do it, so I have to die and start the level over. So this is going to take some work to pull off. I'm not even sure how long this could take. <laughs> I have no idea. Get it with the second controller? That would be easier, though. I'm going to try and do it with just the single player one. Just a single player, make it harder. <laughs> Sagan, welcome in, man. How you doing today? Good to have you here. This level's a bar fight? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have seen other people play this level before, and there's nothing but malice and hatred towards this level. And now that I'm playing it myself, I totally see why. Okay, so I'm basically I'm just trying to get myself killed here so we can take another stab at trying to get the orb. Right, just kill me. We have to die here. Alright, so I've got to make a really quick run at this. Go fast. Really fast. We have to kill a couple of enemies because they're going to be in the way. Oh! I got it! Okay, now the door's open! I don't know how to get in it, though. I'm not going to make it in there. No! No, it despawned! Oh my god, I was so close! See, that's what I gotta do. It was there, but it's only there for a couple of seconds. Alright, die. Gonna die. Sagan, you're just waking up. Nice. Give you at least the basic info for the loop one and the super mode loop two. Starting how to get the true ending loop two. The second form of super drunk. I'll see if I can figure it out. If I get stuck on it, Pookums, I will definitely ask for help on it. I will for sure, because I'm not exactly sure how to pull it off. <laughs> and I just died already, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the orb in time. I'm going to try. Did not make it. Oh my god, this is... I can't believe I even got it the first time. You got Yamcha. Hey, Yamcha's a pretty powerful dude. Don't knock that guy. Don't knock that guy! Alright, we're going to go for the orb again. Alright, enemies are dead. Orb is up. Got it! Alright, now we gotta get in secret doors somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. No! Dude, that's like impossible! And it's already gone! Now I have to die again! Dude, this is madness. How would one pull this off? Alright, die. We have to do this. I wanna get the good ending. This is required. Well, if you any of these games where bubbles don't necessarily hurt you or does it? No, they don't hurt you. I'm creating the bubbles. What's up, Spirit Buddy? 
Welcome in, dude. Son of a bitch! <laughs> nope, not gonna happen this run either. Oh wow, this is gonna suck. Spirit buddy over here having a good day, man. You're gonna have to use all your Roblox skills. Well, you can get, get my cousin's kids in here. They love Roblox. Hey, do you play video games? I'm like, yeah, I play like Battletoads and stuff. I like Roblox. I'm like, okay, yeah, I gotta go. Son of a bitch, this is awful. Sorry for unfollowing me in my sleep mixer. I actually got a pink cord notification to the Discord, and I was like, sweet, mixer's on. Then I went switch, and channel wasn't showing up. I wonder if you thought maybe I deleted my channel. <laughs> After my Adventure Island 3 stream, I'm not gonna lie, but deleting my channel might have been a good idea. I can't get over there, man. This is insane. This go tens reason to play tickled your fancy seems too coincidental. No, I, between him and J Dog, I've been wanting to play this for a while, Lord Malachite, and finally I decided. Yeah, and then after watching them play it, I was like, it's it's time, because this had been on my list for a long time anyway. So I, I bumped it up. So I was ready to jump in, because I've never actually gotten even the bad ending in this game, much less gotten the good ones. So I am excited to do this. All right, we got to get over there. Jump over there. Got it! Now we gotta get in the secret door. And the enemy fell through the floor and killed me, so we have no time to get there. Am I gonna make it this? Nope, it despawned. I might have made it that time. You gotta do it all in one shot, and you have to... Wow, this is not gonna be fun to do. <laughs> now I got to do it again on loop two, where the enemies are gonna be even harder. So yeah, th there's not much to look forward to with this right now. Alright, just kill me. Mentioned as a co-op game, yeah, I would like to. Uh, I would like to. J Dog, I would honestly really like to play it with Amiko, but she is way too shy to be on camera and talk and all that stuff. There's no way we could do it off stream though. I think we'll do that in the future. Play this game off stream sometime because I know she would like to play it. But nope, not on stream. We're almost like opposites in real life. She's like quiet and shy a lot of times, and I'm like never can shut up. It's, it's strange. Lord Malachite, hope you're doing well, man. Things are going decent here, I guess. We're the, I missed the jump. Are you kidding me, dude? How do I miss that jump? It should not be technically possible. I'm shy to bad video games. No, you're not. You beat Back to the Future 2 and 3, man. Laid back with a beer, welcome in. How you doing today, man? We're trying to get the secret thingamajig here. It's not working. I'm dying a lot. I've gotten close to it a couple of times, so good old bubble bobble. Yes, sir, I'm having fun. But we have a problem here. <laughs> we have a problem. Go get it. Got it, okay. Good. Okay, go for the secret door now. Dude, I'm gonna get this. No! Fall into it! Fall into it! No, it despawned! How do you do that? It, it's not possible! <laughs> What's so close? Holy crap! You also play even other bad games too, Spirit Buddy. Like That's So Raven and Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I know what you're doing. You can't, you can't hide that from me. Vance, what's going on? So now I know how to get the secret thingamajig? Yeah, I'm almost to it. I've, I've had a couple of runs. Have I figured it out? Yes! I know how to get it, JSR. It's just I can't get over there quick enough. <laughs> you gotta get the orb, and then you have to get the secret door. But I can't get either. I can some, I'm getting the orb more frequently, but I have not gotten close to that secret door yet. Just fall, if I fall straight down, I'm gonna get it. Kill the enemy! Alright, here we go. I got it. Alright, now we can get the good ending for loop one. <laughs> Alright, we're on level A0, so this is complete uncharted territory. Need multiple orbs before you can get the can get Ramia. What the hell's that? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Dragon Quest, man. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who the hell is Kazuya? I n n n guess as good as mine. Maybe it's a developer for the game or something. Level I.O. That's right. <laughs> I.O. <laughs> I want that cross! 
cross! What's the cross do? I see a cross, I think, Castlevania. I want that. Let's see what it does. Dude, I didn't know... Oh, that only lasted like five seconds. I was about to say, I, I'm shooting fireballs now instead of bubbles. Well, that was cool for all five seconds I had it. Okay, well, at least we know what it is now. All right, well, we're making progress. We're making some progress. All right, we got drunks to kill. That's what these guys are, drunks. Easy. Easy level. See, they're, they throw in easy levels here and there, too. We're getting near the boss. Does T stand for testosterone? No, it stands for, uh, trash. Because I play a lot of trash, so we're going with T. T for trash. These guys throw bottles and shit or something. Yeah. How's this gonna work? <laughs> that looks real safe to jump up there. I can't hurry, dude! There's eight dudes in it! Oh my god, now what? Uh-oh. <laughs> Who thinks I'm gonna survive this? Yeah, I'm really not gonna survive it, because that guy is there. Dude, that was a piece of cake. I knew I was gonna win that fight the whole time. <laughs> it was easy. Easy! He's one of the producers. Okay, I, I had a feeling it might be a developer. You know who's a bad developer? Dan Kitchen. Who else knows who Dan Kitchen is? That guy should be barred from creating video games for the rest of his natural born life, and I hope for God's sake he's never doing another game. You know what games he did? Stuff like, uh, uh, Swamp Thing, and, uh, son of a bitch, all right. Swamp Thing, and Bart versus the Space Mutants, Bart uh, versus Radioactive Man, that kind of absolute garbage. And I'm, I'm probably missing, yeah, those type of games, yeah, so that, that, that genius. There's no way Dan Kitchen is a real name, he's on Twitter. I should give him a hard time for creating garbage games. <laughs> it's related to Gary Kitchen, yeah, th this is his brother, they both make garbage. <laughs> They do. They create garbage. Those guys make ocean look good. <laughs> Saying a lot. Yeah, he should stick the kitchen. How you doing, the yellow freeze? Welcome in. YK. Y2K. Remember Y2K? All the computers are going to explode at when the year 2000 rolls around. That's what everyone thought. What a bunch of simpletons. I didn't think that. I knew we were going to be just fine. All right, here we go. An that was an easy level. Games like that are fun to rent. Fun to rent, yeah, and play for like 10 minutes and then take them back and then actually play, get, get a good game. Right? Oh, crap. All right, that was my fault. There's a butterfly on this level, by the way. Raw's Jericho. That's what I remember from Y2K. <laughs> no, all your computers are supposed to stop working. All the nuclear weapons were going to fire off. Yeah, it was like a doomsday scenario and like... Nothing happened, as usual. <laughs> Nothing! Piece of crap, come on. You're worried about Y3K? I don't think you need to be concerned about that, but that's just me. How did that bubble not pop? I'm hurrying, excuse you, game. Got him. Ghostbusters on Atari 2600 was Kitchen. Oh, that's actually somewhat decent. That's actually, that's better than the NES one. Gary Kitchen made Keystone Capers for Atari 2600. That's a good game. Okay, so we actually made a couple of good games. All right. A, a, a blind squirrel also finds a nut every now and then. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so you made a couple of good games. That doesn't excuse uh, Bart versus Radioactive Man. Or it doesn't excuse Swamp Thing. Th those games are horrendous. I could have done better when I was like eight. I really could have. Gary Kitchen is as bad as Dan. They're both awful, though. 
They're both really bad. This is embarrassing quality games. Alright, this is gonna be a tough level. I'm, I'm just falling constantly. Did that not hit anything? Nope. All right, now we gotta go for the. All oh, right, this that was easy. Never mind. Look, all their corpses are still flying through the air. That's kind of neat. Broken clock is right twice a day. That's exactly what I was going for. Thank you, Ryan. Blind squirrel finds a nut. Bl broken clock is right. See, things happen. Oh, this looks nice. This looks freaking fun. Wow. What? Do you, what in the world? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's invisible. I see. Mike, what is up, man? Who made Alf? Uh, Dan Kitchen, clearly. Dan, I mean, we're gonna go with Dan Kitchen, because he makes shitty games. I'm sure he made a shitty sitcom. Makes, it makes perfect logical sense to me, anyway. Mike, what's going on, dude? Welcome in. That level was easy, and I have no idea why I was complaining about it. Look, they even gave me french fries. That's what those are. It's like the final boss battle in NES Ghostbusters. I haven't played it in so long, I forgot. I probably beat it when I was like five or something. I loved Atari 2600. I'm just a big time fan of that. Oh, you piece of crap. Does Dan Kitchen watch Dan cook? Uh, probably. They probably cook. They're probably as bad at cooking as they are at making video games, so yeah. Oh, please. Mix is a broken clock. Wrong. Wrong! What's it like to be wrong, Beer Baron? Tell me. You would know. <laughs> you would know! All your predictions about me in every stream are always wrong. Often wrong, Beer Baron. <laughs> Kung Fu Atari 20 sets under the more impressive than it's playable. Still not great. It's better than that Chuck Norris game on uh, Atari 2600. That's a real piece of trash. Who's played that before? Been listening and lurking, gotcha. Congratulations on finishing Bionic Commando, Mike. What do you think about Hitler melting? That's pretty damn awesome for an NES game. I was shocked. Thankfully, nobody spoiled that for me when I was playing it. And then I saw Hitler freaking melt, and I was like, dude, th this man just freaking exploded in an NES game, and it was incredible to see. There's nothing better than Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris sucks. Chuck Norris is awful. I'm in Camp Bruce Lee. All right, I'm dead. What, what, what did that say? There's something on this MTJ. All right. That was Master D. Who the hell is Master D? <laughs> Who is that? I'm right there with you, Goten. Bruce Lee, all the way. Norris, what a joke. All the stupid memes about him. Hey guys, before before the monster goes to bed, it checks under its bed for Chuck Norris. Good freaking lord. Grow up. When Chuck Norris does push-ups, he's not pushing himself up, he's pushing the world down. So dumb. Van, I like Jean-Claude Van Damme better as well. I mean, dude, dude, no life, he was Colonel William Guile. It's way better than anything Norris ever pulled off. Bruce Lee defeated him in Way of the Dragon. I know, see, that's all you need to know. I can't get over there. I have no idea how to get over there. Oh, I figured it out! Yeah, you go through the bottom of the screen, but I died. That was cool. Those memes were funny when I was 19. Yeah, mine, exactly. When I, ex when you're a teenager. Welcome in Space Terrier, how you doing today? Good to have you aboard. Things are going good. Never play Beat by Commando. Plan to go in blind. You should. It's also it's fun but frustrating. That's my definition for a Bionic Commando. I do like the game, but it, it's got some frustration to it. Learning how to use the grappling hook, knowing you can't jump, is annoying. But I do like the game. It, it just takes getting used to. All right, I see what we're gonna have to do here. Okay, you don't have a fireball move. I think those little gremlin looking things have a fireball move. I missed him. He's gonna kill me. Nope, I'm still going! I'm going! No! What happened? How did that not pop? <laughs> what, what's that? <laughs> JSR, you played that not all that long ago, too. I remember watching that from work. 
Chuck Norris shows belong in the Baron Chat in World of Warcraft? Yes. Thankfully, I never played Horde, so I didn't have to put up with that crap. Bullshit right there. Incredible amounts of bullshit. Monica for the Alliance. Horde sucks. Loser. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't hate me. All right, there we go. Bulls, God, they last, it lasts like two seconds now. All right, there. Got him, okay. Got him. All right, at least there's none of those invader enemies. Those are the ones I really hate. Steven Seagal, he's an even bigger douchebag than Norris is. No, I, I don't have anything against Norris. I just get sick of the memes. Steven Seagal is a legit douchebag. That's different. <laughs> just, no, I'm not even gonna, like, mince around with that. That guy's just a freaking piece of shit. Got stuck near the end and it drove me mad. It, it, the worst thing is getting stuck in a game, right? That, that end part in Bionic Commando, that part is something else, man. <laughs> Those last couple of leg levels. He's an ass has a legit douche. We are one mind about this. Also hard to kill. Nah, I doubt it. He's a psycho, he is. Not right. Oh, what a move! What a freaking move! That was pure luck. <laughs> Alright, I see how we're gonna do this. Nah. <laughs> It was clearly not it. All right. Clearly not. That's what I'm getting at, rat. That's it. That is it. That is intolerable right there. Complete intolerable. That's why that guy will always be like the biggest douchebag ever. That's going to I'm going to win this. The fire was in front of me. Favorite Seagal story was when he challenged a real martial artist to choke him out so they did and he pooped himself. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's, it's just a freaking... He, he's nothing but a movie dude. Steven Seagal. Yeah, th that's him blowing up right there. <laughs> that looks good. Oh my god, this is, we're about to fight. Yep, we're about to enter into combat here. Who's ready? never actually gotten to fight this guy before. I've seen him fought before, but I've never actually gotten to do it. Uh. That's how we're going to kill him like that. <laughs> it's going to take some work. It's going to take a little work. All right. This guy's name is Super Drunk, by the way. He's throwing bottles at me. I think they called him something else in the US release, but in the, the Japanese one, it's Super Drunk. Alright, so what you have to do to get the good ending, you see the little girls that are trapped up there in the bubbles? So those are the, who we're trying to rescue here. So, you ha you can't do it without two players, so what I'm gonna have to do is right before he's dead is get the other, the second, is get player two in the game. So it can get the good ending for loop one. That's how that's gonna work. I can't stand that guy either, JSR. That guy's another, that's another one of those assholes who needs to shut up. Prefer Sasso's rendition of Seagal? I'll have to look that up. I've heard of that. No life, but I haven't actually gotten to see it. But yeah, I gotta get player two in. I do know that. I've seen this game played a good bit as far as loop one like this, but I've never actually played this deep into the game myself. This is going pretty well. This is not going well. I mean, this is not going bad at all. It looks like he only fires when he's facing you, so as long as you, like, stay at his back, he's not going to be able to shoot at you. Now, what I have heard is you have to fight him again on loop two, but he's, like, three times faster, so that's going to be kind of psychotic. Electric Snow, how you doing today, man? Graham, welcome in. Good to have you guys here. This game, yeah, you're rescuing girls from drunk. Yep, yeah, that's a, a great way to look at it, Zaylin. 
Okay, just gotta dodge. We're fine. That hurt him. That hurt him bad! I went super drunk, and I got player two in, too, so now we'll get the good ending. Now we're gonna get the good ending. And now, it's time for Super Bubble Bobble. Now we go into loop two and everything's going to be a lot harder. Okay, that's a fun fight right there, but see, here's what I'm concerned about. You have to fight this guy again. I've never seen it before, but at the end of loop two, you fight this guy again, he moves three times faster, which sounds kind of impossible. Okay, congratulations, Bobby and Babby, you saved your lovers. They put lovers in an NES game. Betty and Patty at last, but your adventure is not over yet. Not over yet. Good ending, they both get laid. That's the best ending you could ask for, right, Link? You fight both forms in loop, too, as long as you don't pop him. Okay, see, so I was thinking there's a trick to doing it, and it's not just like getting this... Wait a minute, what? Two forms? Loop two per... This was both loops, right? In the future games, Betty and Patty are playable. All right, so we got a long way to go, man. We got a long way to go. You like this home improvement on SNES was kitchen? No wonder it's a big giant pile of shit. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so you don't pop him, all right, in loop two. That's what I was thinking you would have to do. I didn't know you were gonna have to, okay, this is gonna be really interesting to, to actually play through. This is going to be something. So we're halfway home. We've done loop one. So now we have to go all the way through the game again, except it's gonna be a lot harder. There's gonna be stronger enemies. They're gonna be faster. You know the drill for a loop too. All right, you know what? I should probably just go and write this password down just in case I need it. B-B-A-J-I. My computer did blue screen last stream, so I'm hoping there's not like a major problem. All right, so now I think we can do Super Bubble Bobble. All right, so password B B A J I. Super Bubble Bobble! Did it work? I don't know if it worked. We'll find out soon. It did work. Okay, so yeah, there's already stronger enemies. This is a level one, and they're throwing in the harder type enemies. So here we go, loop two. This is it. And, uh, Cov, thank you for the follow, or Kuv, Kuv Lion. Sorry if I said your name wrong, Kovalin. I'm trying, but <laughs> thank you for the follow. It's great to have you here. If I said your name wrong, just feel free to correct me. You will not offend me even a little bit. I like getting people's names right. But loop two is now underway. I wonder how much harder it's going to be. I've seen people play loop one before. I've never seen anything about loop two. All right, we're off to a good start, but of course it is right at the beginning. No wonder that home improvement game is such a piece of shit. It's, it's Dan Kitchen, no wonder. God, somebody banned that guy from ever making a video game again. What a travesty. <laughs> I'm not surprised, though. All right, so instead of the weaker enemies, you have the harder ones, so the, the later levels are really gonna be psychotic, I bet. Never seen Loop 2? It's all new to me, only ran Loop 1, okay. We're in uncharted territory then! Good. <laughs> it's fun being in uncharted territory. I really felt that way when I was playing uh, Castlevania 3, doing all the challenge runs with that game. Like, uh, Sypha only, Staff only, Alucard only, no bat form. Th that was really fun. I wish I could go back and do all that again. Actually, no, I don't. I was really stressed out doing that. 
Home Improvement was a great show by Alf. I didn't like the show, and I didn't like Alf either. Silver Surfer, a good game, legit question. I think it's good, Death Merc, but it plays like Gradius, so you have to be extremely careful to not die. I personally liked uh, Silver Surfer. I did. I thought it was good. It's a hard shmup, basically. Basically, get all your power-ups and don't die, and you'll be more than likely okay. But you start dying on the later levels, you're going to be hurting. And it does have limited continues. I do like the game, though. I think I got really lucky when I beat it. I think that was a thing. Could be a great game if the fire level didn't have so many death walls. Fire level does kind of suck. I think I hated the level with the gargoyles and the th that type of stuff the most. I think that level gave me the most trouble. It, it's a fun game, though. Just because it's on AVGN does not make it a bad game. A lot of people think that, but James is putting on a show for a lot of games just to make it look, like, really bad and awful, but he's putting on a good show. Now, a lot of the games they do on the, on AVGN, yes, they're legit pieces of crap, but some are not that bad. Some are just really damn hard and frustrating. That and Silver Surfer is a good example of that. I have a personal beef with Silver Surfer. Not as much as Wally Bear and the No Gang, though, right? Not as much as that. Desert Bus was kitchen. Boy, this guy's just full of good ideas. Jesus Christ. Where, where? Desert Bus, though, I will let that slide because that's kind of a joke game. That's not a game trying to be like a serious game. So I'll let that one slide, but like, there's no excuse for like Swamp Thing and those games being as shitty as they were. But those are just awful. I could have fixed those games as a child. I could have done a better job than he did. Don't listen to AGM much of the Bash Nightmare on Elm Street, but I admit it was one great and hilarious skit. Now, Nightmare on Elm Street, that's another good game. Hard as hell, yes, on a first playthrough. Really tough, but fun and quality. I really like that game. I did it last uh, Halloween. It was good. I struggled a little bit to get through it, and I'm not going to lie, it was not easy, even a little bit. But I liked it. I thought it was well-balanced and just took getting good to get through it. And we're doing good here. We're doing good. Off to a good start in loop two. It's definitely harder. It's got the higher end enemies. They seem to see a little bit faster. I missed the D. The D was in Darkwing Duck! It's three hits from World Record and died. Ended up going on tilt and lost six minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I would have a personal beef with it then too. I I, I, I understand your 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 anger there. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That would piss me off too. Man, to get that close? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I guess I better be thankful I'm not, not going for world records and stuff. I would not be able to do it. There's no way. I don't see how you, you guys can speedrun anything. I, I, there's only like... I actually have done speedrunning on stream Jump King. It's not a retro game. It looks like one, but it's not. And that's the only game I've actually done a speedrun on. Jax, welcome in! We're in loop two, man! We're in loop two! <laughs> We're going for it all. That's right. You got to do this. You said if I did it, you would do it. Here we are. Here we are. You're only doing one loop, though? No, you got to do both. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing both. <laughs> I'm choosing your stream for you. No, I could never do speed running. I would be so mad after like five runs and I'd be done. I'd be like, yep, I, I suck. I'm done. I can't do this. I, I don't have the fortitude to be able to handle that. I can fail like doing a challenge run a lot, but if I'm trying to actually do like a speed run and go... And see, too, I wouldn't care about a personal best. I'd want to try and compete for a world record, and that would be, and that's the wrong mentality to have, but that's what I would try and do, <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'd be like, yeah, I don't think I can ever do this. All right, how's this going to go? We're gonna like throw water at these guys like that. See, easy, easy. Speed running, playing one game for months on end. I couldn't do it, man. I'm blown away by people that are good at it. It's fascinating to me. I enjoy watching a good speed run. I really do because it's something I could never do. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you piece of crap. Speed run Bart versus Space Mutants. No, thank you. I wanted the umbrella. That's a warp! Are we gonna get it? No! We're not gonna get anything! You'll get nothing and you'll like it! You won't like it, but you'll get it. This is giving me the courage to try and beat this, and we'll see how the final battle goes. 
We'll see how that goes. Apparently the super drunk is three times faster on loop too. It's gonna be fun to see. That's gonna be a freaking blast. <laughs> sounds freaking, it sounds impossible. How did I die? Thank you, Crudas, for the hug. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, buddy. Super duper drunk. Yeah, clearly. Great line from Caddyshack. You'll get nothing and like it. I love that line. I've always been a fan of that line. <laughs> oh, Caddyshack. What a classic. What a classic. They don't make things like that anymore, unfortunately. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, there's water bubbles. I guess we could use one of those. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it's going to be hard. Already at level 15. We're doing good. Doing good. We're how long in the stream? Two hours, 24 minutes. Okay. Man, if we beat this fast, I'm going to have to find something else to play. This is going faster than I thought it would, basically. I thought we would be stuck on Super Drunk for longer. I can't believe I killed him that quick. That was, dude, that was lucky. <laughs> that was really lucky. Their line is still Spaceballs. Oh shit, there goes the planet. Spaceballs is full of great quotes. What's up, Baydog? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Rainbow Islands next. We'll I've got it on my list now. We'll play it at some point. Without a doubt. Probably end up playing everything. I mean, I am going to be streaming for like a very long time. I don't know what else I'm going to do with my life. None whatsoever. Even if I was like a billionaire or whatever, I think I would still be streaming. I still want to explore these games. <laughs> that would change nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, it'd be a lot more fun because that way I could concentrate more on doing, making, working more on my channel and stuff than doing work or anything like that. Okay, I've never seen that item before and it just drowned everything on the screen and turned it into rupees and popsicles. That's even better. Adeline, how you doing today? Blaster Master Zero's next or enemy below? Oh, uh, no. No, I choose what I play on my stream. Do you think this is a democracy? This is a dictatorship. I'm Supreme Overlord here, and there's nothing you can do. It is on my list, though. You gotta be patient, for real, though. There's games on my list that have been on it for, like, over a year that people have recommended. It takes a long time to get to everything. I'm gonna get to everything eventually, though. Just hang in there. It is a mixed tatorship. I like that. Well said. And Casper Van, thank you for the follow. Good to have you here. Sorry if I said your name wrong. It's Casper Van or Casper Vian. It's one of the two. I tried. Sorry, I forgot you said you were doing Blast Core next. I thought I was banning you next. That's what I thought I was doing next. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> you can see, if it was up to you guys, you guys would have me playing the worst garbage all the time. I would never get to play another good game again. It would just be all garbage all the time. I don't think I can handle that. That's why we don't do, uh, that's why I don't do game redemptions like I used to, like nearly as many, because people can't behave. So they, they redeem five bad games in the same day. I think we had three once. Yeah, and it was sucked. <laughs> Elysia Dragoon, I've got that on my list, Deathmark. Blades of Vengeance, I have not played either, but I do have Elysia Dragoon on my list to play. Maybe we'll get to that fairly soon, because that looks like a cool game. And I know I'm not putting up the American box art for it before someone asks. It looks like freaking Red Sonya or something. The, the actual Japanese box art looks like the character, which is what we're going to use. Please play Holy Diver and Takashi Challenge. It's two times Deathless, Blindfolded, 1ccK, thanks. Alright, I'm, I'm almost there. I've done a Holy Diver Deathless. I've done that one Deathless. That's close, JSR. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself credit for everything you said there. Since I was kind of in the ballpark a little bit. <laughs> I have done that, Deathless! That's good enough. You know what, honestly, that was not the hardest Holy Diver challenge I've done. The hardest Holy Diver challenge actually was no life upgrades, one credit clear. Th that was harder than Deathless, and somehow I got it on the first try. I just like Holy Diver. It's one of those games that clicks with me instantly. Whereas Adventure Island 3 was the complete opposite. I still don't know how to play that game. And I was playing it for like, how many hours that day? I played it for like 17 hours and I still don't know how to play it. Alright, that worked better than it should have. Alright, that bubble's in the middle. Okay, I don't know how we're going to survive this. 
we're not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because there's only one left. And he's dead. Not all garbage, I'd have you play Ocarina of Time, Dark Souls, and Eldrin Ring. That's worse than garbage, though, Lord Malachi. That's worse than playing, like, Swamp Thing to me. That's worse. So, see, I gotta be really careful about putting up game redemptions, or I will be in the worst kind of trouble and then never want to stream again. That's how that would go. <laughs> that is exactly how that would go. Alright, I got good on this level. You see what that is? That's called getting really good. <laughs> I'll take these crowns that are worth 7,000 points. Add Tron 2.0 killer app for the GBA on your list, mainly for the mini games. Tron? Like the old, like, 80s movie? Tron? That one? What's up, Suki Zero? I've never heard of Tron. I've played the arcade version of Tron back in the day. You fight like an ice cream cone. You ride, uh, bikes. I I've played it before. I don't know about it, like, the new version, though. I have no idea. Ridge Racer? Never play a Ridge Racer game. You say, that sounds like my dad. My dad likes... My dad likes racing games. And I like Mario Kart. That's the only racing I like. But he's like, oh, this Need for Speed looks cool. And I'm like, Dad, that's it's just another humdrum racing game. Go play Mario Kart. My parents actually have played Mario Kart online before. That was their first experience in online gameplay was Nintendo's uh, Wii. And yeah, I actually got them playing online, and they were having a freaking blast yelling at each other. My dad was just trying to crash my mom off the road, but hey, they were having fun. That's what matters. PS1 Independence Day. I've seen that game, but I've always like been curious about it. Every game I've ever seen on AVGN, I've always been curious about, even if I haven't played them all. <laughs> that one looked kind of not good. I saw that movie when I was a, like a teenager or whatever, and I, I remember hearing the game coming out, and I was like, I wonder if the game would be good, but I didn't have a PlayStation, so I never could find out. And then it shows up on AVGN, so I'm like, okay, so it probably isn't great, or it's got problems. Mario Kart Wii Online was a ton of fun. That was my favorite, JD. I loved Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the one that's out now, is good, but Mario Kart Wii was my jam. I actually got to the highest possible ranking you could get, like 9,000 points online. That I could not believe it. You don't play late at night. You play late at night, you run into playing Japanese players, and, it's, and it doesn't go well. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's try and play when none of those guys are online so I can rank up more. Let's get that mushroom. What does that do? 200 points. All right. No, not Mock Rider! Oh my god, I'm the good lord Mock Rider. Okay, well, that's better than Qbert. <laughs> My cousins had Mock Rider. I think we got to track three. <laughs> that was it. So seeing No Life actually beat Mock Rider, that was a real treat. That was a game I never thought I would see anyone ever even play, much less finish. That was amazing. No Life. Just crazy good work on that. God. <laughs> Mock Rider! This man beat Mock Rider of all games. It is rough. Did I play Qbert yet? No, and I never will. <laughs> Never will I play it. My controller just stopped working. Hold up, my controller's stuck. My controller's not working. We have a problem. We have a problem. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. But my controller has stopped responding. There it goes. Okay, I I fixed it. Usually that's the way to go. Unplug it and plug it back in. No Life is playing all games. Yeah, I know. I don't think I could. Hubert sucks. NES one anyway. It does. It shouldn't be as what it is. It should not go to level 9-4 or whatever. It should just loop endlessly, and it should be a game about getting points, like the arcade one was. Like the Atari 2600 one was. That's not a game you play to beat. That's an arcade game you play for points. Who thought it would be a good idea to give that game an ending? And, f and going to 9-4? That's psychotic. Man, I'm dead, by the way. These guys are wrecking me. Cuber Atari 2600 was a game I played a lot. Me too. That's a, To me, that was... That and the arcade versions are awesome. I don't know what they were thinking with the NES one. That, that's just an exercise in misery. Yes, it's beatable, but is it fun? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Hubert doesn't keep your score when you game over, it just immediately disappears. That one's built more for trying to finish, which I, I hate. 
They're like big mock rider fairly fast too, like six frames or something in all modes. Yep. Yep. I was fascinated by that because my cousins and I would play mock rider. Mostly just to get the first couple of tracks. How did you shoot me through the wall, you piece of crap? How'd you do that? Alright, well whatever, we beat the level. We beat the level! Back to the Future 2 and 3 on NES, you know life and spirit bunny know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yep, I've been I've watched like a full almost like a documentary on that game that was shown to me by Rob. He sent me a video that was a documentary on Back to the Future Parts 2 and 3 on the NES. JSR's beaten that game. He speed running in all AVGN games. So yeah, that might be the worst of all of them. That might be it. What's Mock Rider? Go look it up. It's a motorcycle game. That's what it is. You know, I'm, when we're talking about bad games, I gotta throw in there that I hate Gradius 2 as well. I, I can't not do that. Sorry for anyone that likes Gradius 2. I, I despise it. <laughs> Just I had to throw that in there. Alright, that worked exactly as I expected it to. That was perfect! I just got lucky. I don't know what I was doing there. I have no idea. Mock Riders Road Rash meets Bump and Jump. It's th Those games are just problematic. And we're being another good lord. Welcome in Hungry! Oh my god, there's my Mo eternal Mario Kart rival. <laughs> I was taking cheap shots at Hungry when we were playing Mario Kart off stream the other day. And uh, yeah, I paid dearly for it. Hungry, welcome in. Raiders, good to have you here. Welcome to Bubble Bobble. We're in loop two. We're trying to do both loops of it. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you guys are doing well. How did Super Princess Peach go? That's the most important question. Spice the arcade version of what? Radius? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what you're talking about. Raspy, what's up, man? Welcome in. Raiders, good to have you here. Thank you so much for the raid, Hungry. How did Super Princess Peach go? I know that's what you were working on today. I never get to see your streams on Friday because I'm always here usually playing something stupid. But not this time! We're playing a good game! That's amazing! And that went really well. And we got a 1-up. Super Nintendo! Welcome in! It went well. I beat it again. Uh... Uh, I beat it again and then played some DS variety. There's some cool stuff on DS. There is some really cool stuff. Congratulations on finishing that. That is a extremely cool looking game. I looked at it last night, by the way. I'd never even seen it played before. <laughs> it was like something I would enjoy. It's good typical Mario stuff. And you play as Peach, not Toad, right? Yes! Anonymous Gifter with a gift sub to Hungry! Thank you, Anonymous! That's really nice. You don't have to do that, but thank you. I appreciate it. Things are going very well here for me today. We beat Loop 1 here. I guess it's going okay. I'm not good at this game or anything, but we're just grinding through it. We're at level 34 of Loop 2. I'm happy with that. Loop 2 is harder, but I'm more acclimated to the game now, so things are going much better than they were on Loop 1, I think. The difficulty is definitely up there. Play some Rhythm Heaven for the first time. It's super critical. My lack of rhythm. Oh, please. Lack of rhythm. My butt. <laughs> Nobody is big, big beats the games. some of those games you have and have lack of rhythm. Please. Anonymous, again, thank you very much for that kindly gift. So I will really appreciate it. And congratulations on finishing Star Wars last night as well. That was a heck of a final battle, was it not? Wow. <laughs> That is a game I'm never going to touch, but I was happy to see it, because, like I said, I owned the first two in that Star Wars uh, series, but I never beat the second one. The levels were just like the ones you played. They were too complicated for me. I'm too dumb to get through levels like that. I beat the first one, but it's more like just shooting and stuff. Alright, this is not going to end well, is it? No. Proto, what's up? Welcome in, man. It's like, how dare you game at least a thousand times, but it was... It was fascinating to see, though, right? <laughs> it's, and sometimes it's fun to play a game like that that makes you feel dumb. Well, I don't know. I'm, I might be lying about that, but... <laughs> Puzzle games can be the, the biggest issue ever. Proto, how's it going today, man? Welcome in. Edgemaster, welcome in. It's like you continue to switch it up. Yeah, we're working on loop two here of uh, Bubble Bobble. It's going pretty good. 
I am, I am showing a little bit of improvement. I'm learning more about how the physics work. Things are... I, I can't complain. It's going better than I thought it would. Let's put it that way. I don't know what that book does up there. Do we even need that? Nah, we don't need that. 30, level 38 already of loop 2. Just like the you choose Toad. You never choose Toad. Toad sucks. Who in the world would choose Toad? Worst character ever. <laughs> I have a hatred of Toad because of Mario 2. I thought he was freaking useless. What's this bomb thing do? Oh, it kills everything. Alright, well that's nice. Get good. I'll take it. Has anyone else in here beaten Loop 2 before? I bet a lot of people have. <laughs> I'm probably well behind the curve on this, but that's fine. If you haven't seen it, it's new to you, right? Can't deny Tro Toad's treasure hunting skills. He's bad at everything, see, Geiger. What are you talking about? He's the mushroom retainer. Our present, our our princess is in another castle. Really? I got sick of seeing that when I was a kid. I didn't want to see it anymore. Just annoying. I'm not a hater, he's not a good character. <laughs> it sucks. This is gonna work, no! <laughs> Almost, Bright Shadow, welcome in. Someone who's done Super Mario 2 speedrunning, the concept of Toad being bad is physically painful. Oh, I know he's using speedrunning a lot. I've watched Chult do speedruns of Super Mario 2, and he always picks Toad and always gave him crap about it, but I know why he does it. I totally get it. If you're picking up an item and you run with Toad, he runs a lot faster. So, yeah, yeah, I guess he's a good speedrunner. I'll concede that. Bright, hope you're having a good day. Welcome in. See, as a kid, I, I didn't see the value at all of playing any character except Peach in Mario 2. It was Peach or Bus. I mean, she can float. <laughs> the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, found my character. <laughs> it was almost like cheating in a way. All right, we got some shoes and all the enemies dead. All oh, they're all dead. You totally get it. I can't wait till you play it, Rat. You're gonna play Mario 2 one day, and you're gonna be Peach, because you look like Peach for real. So that's what you have to do. But why do you love Toad? No, you can't. Toad is so good at being Peach's protector. He always lets Bowser kidnap her. Seems so useless. New world. Welcome in. Toad isn't even a Toad. His name is a lie. Yeah, he's some kind of mushroom man or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I know. He's some kind of mushroom man. How did I die right there? I clearly did not. Alright, there we go. Insured, welcome in. Peach and Luigi. How else could you who else could you possibly need? I kind of liked Luigi until I played him in a ROM hack. And there were levels where you had to play as him to get past certain levels. And it kind of drove me insane. I was not a fan. But, still, I think he's more fun to play as than Mario and Toad in that game. Am I gonna die here? I think I'm gonna die here. I don't think I can do this. No. Dead. Alright, that's fine. We're making good progress. Progress is good. XZS, welcome in. If you're going for the true ending, don't you have to play Tua? Yeah, you can put the other player in just by hitting a button. That's what I did to get Loop 1's good ending. You just have to hit a button. All good. I have no idea how I'm going to get this guy. Okay, iframes. Iframes. Iframes! What? Okay, you have, like, barely enough iframes to get him. Toad was cool in the movie. Love the harmonica. I still haven't even seen the Mario movie yet. I'm so far behind. I don't have enough time in my life for anything. <laughs> it's just not enough. I gotta see that! I love Mario! I wouldn't be sitting here playing video games if it wasn't for, like, Super Mario Brothers. I think that's kind of the game that got me going back in the day. I liked games before that, but that was just kind of, like, on another level. This is gonna be a good shot right here. Okay, well, I got one of them. Alright, this little toy guy in here, we're gonna have to find a way to get him. I'M HURRYING! No, for God's sake. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Who don't want to fight Toad or Al? Toad, without a doubt, man. Toad. You, you forced my issue on that one. Toad, all day, every day, all day long. Got the bad ending in this one. Afterwards, I looked up how to get the good ending. This is worth revisiting someday. Absolutely. I wonder how different the endings are. See, I got the good ending there, and they rescued the girl. I've seen someone get the bad ending before, and it just says, this is bad end or something. 
I don't really remember. It's been a long time. But I've never seen any good ending stuff with it, with Loop 2, at least. Alright. Is this going to be a problem? Yeah, I think it's going to be. Alright, we got one more to get and one life. Good lord, imagine doing a one credit. Clear this. Played Super Mario Brothers for the first time. I was like, yay, I was too. I played in the arcade for the first time. And I was in love with it right away. And then the, the, the prospect of having it at home just blew me away. When I got my first Nintendo, and the Nintendo action set, it came with the Super Mario Duck Hunt cartridge. My cousins actually got an NES before I did, and they got the one with Rob the Robot. Which was uh, not very good, <laughs> but uh, they, that's what they got, and that's the first time I actually got to play an NES. It was not my own, but Rob the Robot was not exactly. A good, uh, how did I die there? Send a freaking SOS. This is not bad end. We're getting good end. McSlapnut, welcome in. This is a song that doesn't end only when the boss fight starts. That is it. Only then. But hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Didn't know why I didn't have Super Mario Bros. 2. I had all the others. It's so good, too. It's hard for me to choose a Mario game I like the most. Some days I feel like it's Mario World. Other days I feel like it's Mario 3. Sometimes Mario 2. I don't know. Who knows? My buddy and I used to play the crap out of this. this what a wonderful co-op game this would be. This would be so fun co-op. I'd play it on stream with the girlfriend, but I mean, she's too shy to be on camera, so that's not going to happen, unfortunately, but I would be willing. And Art Vandelay, thank you for the follow. Good to have you here, man. Welcome in. Jose, welcome in. This game is cute, so it must be mean. It's got some meanness to it. You're not wrong. Especially for what we might be dealing with with the final boss of Loop 2, where it moves three times faster than the one... Oh, man, the enemy's only seeing a bubble for, like, four seconds now. We had an agreement nobody got the shoe. The shoe seems like a downgrade, honestly, because you can't jump very... You jump too fast. It's hard to control. Gyromite cart has a Famicom to NES converter in the cartridge. Gyromite was better without Rob. Rob just screwed you over. He was too slow. I was not a fan of Rob. And the only memories I have of you playing with Rob in person is at my grandparents' house. My cousins are there. The Rob didn't work right, and he was like spinning the gyros across the room. It was kind of neat. Neff, you're obsessed with Alf. Get help. Get help, sir. Get. You need help. Look into it. <laughs> Look into some help. You need it. I, I know about obsessions, and you're go, you're going over the line, sir. Rob is the worst. He's better than Alf. Robotic operating buddy. He's clearly better than Alf. Can hold the jump button to jump on the bubbles. Yeah, I didn't even actually learn that for a long time as a kid. I was trying to like manually time jumps out, <laughs> like on the bubble, like trying to hit A right as I touch the bubble. That does not work. But as a kid, I didn't understand that. But I only made it to level 57 of this as a kid, and I even remembered it because it's such a trolley level. But now we're going all the way with this game. Be worried about you squishing me in Gyromite, then Rob, oh, I used to squish my cousin all the time. He'd be like, okay, move the thing up now. I'd be like, okay, go. And as soon as he'd go under it, I'd crush him. It was so great. <laughs> I don't think we made any progress because of that. But it sure was fun. It was a very innovative game. I'm hurrying, shut up, we're doing fine. Yeah, because I don't know if the manual tells you you can just hold A down to bounce on a bubble like that. I don't remember if it says or not. Person with the shoe always took all the goodies. Oh, okay. I didn't like the controls on the shoe, that was my problem. I don't know what the necklace does. I don't even know what half the items in this game do. I just grab everything I see. All right, we have like yeah, we have the rapid bubbles now. That's nice. Did anyone else have the, the the Nintendo Deluxe set that had Rob the Robot and actually tried to make him play Gyromite with you? I didn't know anyone that had the other game stack up though. Oreo, welcome in Oreo. How's it going today? Gyromite was an innovative game in the mid '80s. We gave another shot on future hardware. Could have improved it, yeah, because Rob was just too slow and not a very good piece of technology. But I think it could have been improved upon, but they gave up on it, I think. Oh, that would have been perfect! Well, that didn't happen. Okay. That didn't happen either. What? what? Alright, well, game over. You're doing good. That's what I want to hear, Oreo. Welcome in 
Things are going good here. This is loop two. We are already in loop two. Progress is happening faster in this than I was expecting, believe it or not. I thought we were going to get stuck on the boss fight for a while, but somehow I killed him quickly. I don't know why. Oh, no, no, I hate... God, these little invader enemies are the worst in the game. All right, I got him. That's all I was going for there. Now we got a pissed off whiz robe. I actually really like playing the Giant Rock game where you control the pipes so let the sleepwalking guy get through the level mostly because they didn't have to use Rob. That was probably the best way to play it right there. I think that was called Mode B. And there was like... There's like 30 levels in that, I think. I never was able to get through them all. Maybe we need to do that on stream. Maybe that's what we need to do. Gyromite. Mode B. That might be kind of fun. Oh, a full level of these guys. Great. Okay. Alright, I know what to do. Okay, there's an umbrella up there, and we're gonna go for it. No! I fell through the floor? Really? Yeah, that's the way the physics work in this game. I'm not gonna get up there. There went the warp zone. It's gone. Jeremiah Tecmo Baseball from uh, Lord Malachi. Uh, from oh, you want okay, you want some NES games? Very nice. Tecmo Baseball. I, I played. Yeah, I played that one before. It's decent. It's not Baseball Stars, but it's a good game. Jeremiah's a classic, of course. Sometimes even we even talk about Gyromite back on Facebook. Sometimes with my cousin, we, we still remembers. Played Adventures of Lolo. I rented it once, Sea Geiger, and I uh, I really remember liking it. I did not finish it. Didn't have enough time to get all the way through it, but I liked Lolo quite a bit. I thought it was good. Maybe we'll stream it sometime. I know it's a puzzle game. I'd be willing to give it a shot. As long as people don't get too offended when I don't get through a puzzle in like 10 seconds, which does happen. The only baseball game played as a kid was RBI Baseball. I like that one as a, a lot too, but they didn't have the Atlanta Braves on it, so I was always a little bit disappointed. So I just played some National League All-Stars. Since I wasn't a fan of any of the other teams, and no Atlanta Braves, I was like, really? Well, this game sucks. No, it's actually a good baseball game. All right, we gotta... The, 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 ah, really? The bubble was not popping. I don't get it. I have not played Lolo 1 or 2, no. What was that about Rob? Actually, oh, uh, okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, I was making sure. But RBI Baseball is good. I just didn't like that it didn't have every team. Baseball stars didn't have real players, but you can make your own team on that one, which was incredible. Is that going to kill stuff? That's going to kill stuff, and we're going to beat the level real quick because of that. Good ending scene so far away. Now, no, it doesn't. We're already at level 153. All hope is lost. You need to quit losing hope. No Braves is a plus. Why is that a plus, Neff? What team are you a fan of? You're a Mets fan? Is that why you're salty? <laughs> because the Braves own the Mets? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> no Braves is a plus. Screw you. <laughs> RBI Baseball did have the Cardinals, so they got that right. Yeah, I, that was, that is one of the teams they included. Yep. I remember they had Boston and, like, they didn't even have the Yankees in that game. It was weird. Night Shadow, how's it going today, man? Hope you've been doing well. Baseball Simulator 1000, Reg, that game's awesome. That's another game where you can make your own team. It had, like, ultra play and stuff. We had, like, super earthquake hits and missiles and all kinds of stuff. That was a great game, too. I did play that one. And it kept up with all kinds of stats and league play, yeah. Basically, if, if, you, if I'm going to enjoy a sports game, i got to be able to make my own team and just got to keep up with, like, a million stats. And a lot of those did back in the day. That was good enough for me. All right, we got a super drunk. We're fighting here. Night Shadow, it's been it's been going good, man. I hope you've been well. Game part of Rob has definitely been hidden to many. Tons of people are only aware of him due to Smash. But little dude, it's always appealing. I always liked the way he looked. It was just the functionality wasn't great. But yeah, he's in, he's one of the main characters you can be in Smash, which I think is really neat. It's the Ark of the Covenant. Let's get that. What does anybody know what that does? It gave me points. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but we got it. That's what the Ark looked like in Atari 2600 Raiders of the Lost Ark, which was a really cool game. Dusty Diamonds All-Star Softball. Dusty Diamonds All-Star Softball. That sounds like, like not very good. Who the hell is Dusty Diamond, anyway? Is that even a real person, or they just made that up? Who's recently trademarked the word jank? I probably should, Spirit Buddy. 
I probably should. Dude, look how quick they're popping out of bubbles now. They're red when it touches it. Okay, there's candy over there. Let's go get that. Got it. Okay. Dude, I'm at like... What? God, that lasted one second! Is the whole rest of the game gonna be like this? We got pink rupees! Who the hell is Dusty Diamond? Not a real person. Doesn't look so bad. Goten, they're popping out of the thing in like one second now. Art Vandalay, there you are. What's up, man? <laughs> See, look! L let's count! Let's count how long it was in the Oh, that's gonna help a lot on this level. Look at that! That's like the worst power-up you could get! Screw this level. Screw this level. I hate this level. This is where I stopped playing as a, as a kid on the long loop one, of course. Infinite Kitty, welcome in! See, look what you did! Is it Dusty Diamond Screech? Yes, that's him. Screech. The guy from Saved by the Bell? That's him. Yep. I don't know about this Dusty Diamond softball or whatever. Not even sure that's a real softball player. Okay, I don't know how I got that, but I'll take it. How you doing today, Infinite Kitty? Welcome in. Good to have you here. Your takeover of Goten stream inspired me to play this. J Dog inspired me to play this too. So between the two of you, that's why I'm playing this today. This had already been recommended, but I, I really wanted to uh, play this after seeing it played. And I've never finished it before, so even better. Yeah, Screech passed away, unfortunately. That sucks. That sucks. Won a few games from No Life, might want to open your carts. No Life said he's been hiding money inside random carts last night. I don't want to break the carts. <laughs> I don't want to open them! I like them as they are! Yes, I have won several carts. In fact, I've got them sitting right over here. I've got Ninja Turtles, Caveman Games, Dino Ricky, Winter Games, Solstice, all kinds of neat stuff sitting over there. How'd I do that? I don't know, Link. I'm just that good. <laughs> Get on my level for being that good. I can instantly just delete all the enemies and turn them into four-leaf clovers and just beat the level that quickly. That's all you gotta do. That's it. I, I, honestly, though, I don't know what I did. There was apparently a power-up I picked up that I didn't see. Alright, that's gonna work. But look, everything's moving, like, really quick. <laughs> okay, that Baron Vubla or whatever is gonna show up in a second. I'm not that fast! All right, there's two more down there. Would I tattoo the word jank on your left cheek or play Back to the Future Deathless? Probably Back to the Future Deathless. I'm not going through life with that on, tattooed on me. I don't even have a tattoo. Maybe I should get one. A tattoo of, uh... I don't know. I hate Gradius 2 seems like a worthy tattoo. That's what I'll get. This FA-10 region of the in-game memory? I guess so. There's, there's probably a meaning behind, like, every single one of these, like, messages they put on these screens here. Can I please hit this? There we go. That's what I was going for. Remember you see a green necklace grab it? I guess that's what it was, right? What about Back to the Future 2 and 3 Deathless? Alright, Chid, you beat me a thousand times in a row in Street Fighter 2 and I'll do that Deathless, okay? A thousand games in a row. That's all you gotta do, and I'll do it. Sound, that's quite a fair challenge, I believe. No one said break the carts, just unscrew the carts, look inside, and then screw them back together. Too much work. That's too much work. If there's money in there, then I'll just be in there forever. I'm just happy to own the games. Oh my god, this stupid level again. I'm God! Dude. Alright, one of them said, what's the magic staff do? Probably nothing. 500 points. All right, kill this space invader or whatever it is. All right, now we gotta deal with this. Now we gotta deal with this garbage. Did this earlier and it wasn't fun. All right, so it's gonna be something like that, yeah. How did that not work? All right. Okay, now we gotta get him before he pops. Or before he breaks free. All right, got him, popsicles are here. Back to feature two and three, deathless will be near impossible. I bet somebody's done it. Back to the Future, now are we talking jank? You know what, I'm going to play the first Back to the Future game on NES eventually. I'm going to. 
without a probably without even a bad game redemption because I think it looks like a fairly fun game to try and work through even though I've never tried to beat it before I played it before I've definitely seen worse now back to the future 2 and 3 is different I don't care about ever playing that but you know what one day on stream we probably will I I'm sorry to say but yeah one day and I'm dreading that day but maybe what maybe eventually I mean if I'm gonna play most of the NES games I might as well a blue ju beetle Beetlejuice tattoo? You really hate me, don't you? See Mixer's worst condition game? So far, it's been arcade shmups, Monica. Arcade shmups between R-Type and Gradius. Th they've been some of the worst designed games I could ever see. They're just not fun. It's poorly designed and nearly impossible until you die 8 million times. I, I don't like those kind of games. Back to the Future 2 and 3 World Record still has a death. Okay, so maybe no one's ever done it before. Okay, well, I tried. It almost worked. All right, if they just fall straight down here, we're going to get them. Okay, I thought they were going to fall into the faucet, but I guess not. Are they going to fall in here? No! Well, this is not good. All right, I'll intercept them right here. Got them. 2 and 3 will make R-Type look like a baby game. It's not really a game about getting killed and stuff. It's about... Figuring out where to go, what to do, where to place what, where to get what. It's just a mess of a game. It's like, I don't know, it's not like they were going for fun or anything with that. They're just going for how tedious can we make it. That's how that was. Okay, somehow I killed that guy without getting hit. Somehow, I don't know how that happened, but we got him. I mean, the worst shape of one of your cartridges or systems is in. Oh, that would definitely be by NES. Back to the Future game on Genesis, most people can get past the first level. Oh, I know what you're talking about, the one where you're, uh, it's Back to the Future 3 and you're playing as Doc riding on a horse. Yep, I played it before. Not on stream, people have requested it, so yeah, one day we're going to play that. Looks awful. Speaking of looking awful, that would be, that would be this level, I think. Oh, this is a nightmare. Alright, we got the whiz robes out of the way. Okay, there's like hidden walls and stuff. And it's, yeah, this level's gonna suck. Well, the NES SNES games are difficult, not because of trolley level design, because of the fact we're much more patient gamers as kids. I don't know. I'm a much more patient gamer as an, an adult than I ever was as a kid. I, I never in a million years would have played some of the games I've beaten on stream that I played as a kid. There's just no way, and this level is not very fun. Level 66, Back to the Future 2 and 3 definitely requires map making and meticulousness. I've done that with Deadly Towers and several other games, Metal Gear, so I mean it wouldn't be out of the realm of impossibility to do it. Uh, thank you for the follow, welcome in, good to have you aboard. Things are going okay here. I don't like this level, this is not a very fun looking one, yeah I'm dead. Yeah. Copy of Kickle Cubicle looks like it's chewed on by a dog for VR. It's got it way less than what it goes for, so worth it. Uh, I've never played that one, but I've heard it's decent. The worst part of Back to the Future 2 and 3 is Part 2. Once you get past Part 2, Part 3 is much more bearable. I've never seen Part 3. <laughs> so I'm assuming you eventually do make it to the Old West, but like, hardly anyone ever plays it long enough to get that far. I'm really dreading playing that. We will one day, more than likely. I mean, I, we played other games that I thought I would never play in my life, like Bubsy and, and... You know, Bubsy didn't turn out that bad. I thought Bubsy was fairly decent and playable. What's an awesome game? Kickle... Oh, Kickle Cubicle? Yeah, we'll play it at some point. Took me almost 30 years to beat Link to the Past. Does not matter. As long as you have fun, doesn't matter how long it takes to beat a game. If you're having fun... I mean, look, it took me like 18 hours or whatever to beat Adventure Island 3, and I didn't have fun. <laughs> that was a bad example, but still. I don't know what my problem was with that game. I just couldn't do it. Was it required for the true ending? Goobs, what's up, man? Uh, you have to do Loop 2. You have to get the secret passageway in Loop 2. And you have to... Okay, and you have to fight him, fight the last guy in his super powered up form, then you have to get player two in right before he dies. So there's several steps we're gonna have to go through to get it. Adventure Island 3 is pure jank. I think it's a good, I think it's a decent game. It just didn't click with me. That was my problem with it. It was just not a good game for me. I know a lot of people that do like it and that's great, but for me it was a bad game. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. <laughs> 
I've never had that much trouble with a game before. I thought I was going to be good at it. That, that was even the worst part. That was awful. But it's done. Alright, can I move over a little bit? Alright, this is working. This level's going... Wow, that level went really good! That's un... I did not die on that level somehow. Goobs, I hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome in. Good to have you here. You've beaten all Adventure Island games. I've done one on Game Boy, and I've done Adventure Island 1, 2, and 3 on NES. So I've done a pretty decent amount of them so far. I haven't done Advent Super Adventure Island on... Uh, Super Nintendo yet, and I've done Wonder Boy on Master System, which basically is Adventure Island. So yeah, we've done a lot of them. And I'm sure there's more to go. I've seen Ellie playing Ocarina of Time, reinforcing your hate of it, making it seem more tolerable. No, it actually uh, making it seem less to tolerable because of how boring it looks. It's just more, it's just roaming. Y you like to roam around? Alright, well then Ocarina might be the game for you. But I, 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 I need more in my games than roaming across Hyrule Field over and over. And that's really like 90% of the game. <laughs> I'm not a fan! Alright, that went great. I set those guys on fire. But yeah, we are going to play Ocarina, if you're wondering. We will. Love the music and Super Adventure Island. Same composer did Streets of Rage. Wow! K uh, Yuzo Koshiro, or whatever his name is. Little Nemo, that's a good game. I like Little Nemo. We've done that. You know what? I want to try and do that. Maybe try and do Little Nemo Deathless one day. I think that's a game that might be a good fit for that. Red Cross. Oh, that does this. Wow! That is so powerful! That is so incredibly powerful. You don't get it for very long, but you just melt stuff. Yeah, there's people going to make me play Ocarina. I should have never complained about it on stream at Slapnut. Now everybody's like, Mr. when are you going to play Ocarina? See, it's right here. I've got it sitting here. We're going to play it. Is there any 3D Zeldas you like? What about Wind Waker? Uh, I've never played another 3D Zelda goods because I was so scared off from my hatred of Ocarina that I just never bothered. Wind Waker looked nice. I know a lot of people didn't like the way it looked. It looked really cartoony and anime-ish style, but I love the way it looked. But I decided to never play it because I figured it's 3D. I'm probably going to hate it. But it's completely different from Ocarina. But don't try and tell myself that from back in the day. You're saving October, uh, Ocarina for October because it's a horror game. I might as well. <laughs> I might. That's not a bad idea. I kind of that would kind of fit the theme. That or April Fools. I almost played it for April Fools last uh, this year, but I decided against it. I don't even remember what I played for April Fools. It was a bad game. I know that. Can't do much with this high tech bullshit going on here. Wind Waker has a great fighting system. Hopefully, it's got a decent amount of fighting. I can't do anything with this level. All right, keep going. Seventy-two. Like the cell shaded look. I think it looks really nice. And I would probably like it. I just got... Just, my mind couldn't tolerate any more 3D Zelda after the, after my horrors with Ocarina. It wasn't really horrors more so. It was just like sheer boredom. I was like, I want to be playing anything but this right now. Wild Dog, welcome in. High Tech. Hi, Mixer. Hope you're well, dude. Doing, doing well. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate it. Things are going okay. Hope you're having a good... Nice Friday. Wind Waker's truly really timeless with this art style. It would look good 500 years from now. I love the way it looks. I like the way Ocarina looks. I just don't like the way it played. That was my beef with that game. It just wasn't fun to play. And I know it's like one of the most beloved games of all time. I get it, but not for me. Survived tornado warnings. I'm happy. Where are you? Well, like, where are you exactly? Because we, we deal with tornadoes a lot here in Alabama, and they're, they're, they're awful! They're really awful. Majora's Mask better than Ocarina? I've heard that opinion tossed around. I've heard... I would probably like it more than Ocarina. I bet I would. How are we going to do this? This looks terrible. Okay, there's a big pile of whiz robes in here. And they can shoot through the wall. That's nice. Okay, they're dead. Can I get a bubble going right here? Don't know how we're going to get that. Look, there's whiz robes down there, too. This guy we're going to kill like that. These guys we're going to do like that. Okay, now there's two more. I don't care about dealing with what's his name. No! That's crap! I was winning! You're in Detroit. Okay, yeah, you guys normally don't get weathered like that, do you? Of course, weather's going crazy these days, so God knows what's going to happen next. Who knows? 
a tornado. I mean, there's a hurricane on the West Coast. Insanity. But Majora's Mask, which we've gotten a whole trilogy out of the N64. That's a game either people love or hate. I'm gonna not go out on a limb here and say, like I said, I, I think I would like it more than Ocarina. I like everything more than Ocarina. Would it? Except for maybe Gradius too. but I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a horse of a different color. Ah! That's why I don't like the shoes. That's why I don't like them. It's hard to control it. Alright, how am I gonna get over there? I have to do this. Alright, we got whiz robes. Got him. There's nothing more than the good old day of mud. Never been mudding in my life, even though I hear about it all the time. Like an upside down world, like Stranger Things, it is. It's getting stranger by the day, too. Gradius did nothing wrong. He did everything wrong, and you know it. Literally everything. You gotta pop guys really quick in this now. That you don't you have no opportunities. I'm not going in there. You're just going to jump up here. Like that. Yeah, I am a hater of Gradius, though. I like 2D Zeldas. My favorites are Ages, Seasons, and Link's Awakening. Gotcha. Yeah, I like 2D Zeldas. The newest 2D Zelda I've beaten, Link to the Past. I just wanted more Link to the Past. And what well, I was given Ocarina of Time. But I wanted way more of what Link to the Past was offering. But unfortunately, I didn't get that. I got a 3D game with very little combat. I was bored out of my mind. Dude, he was in a bubble for like less than a second. What was that? 25 more levels. Let's go. Minish Cap's my favorite 2D Zelda with Link Between Worlds being second. I heard good things about Minish Cap. I remember Pookums played that one on his stream. It looked great. I think Capcom actually made that. Nintendo contracted Cop Capcom out to make that one. Link Between Worlds is an actual sequel, then I need to play it. The Link to the Past Randomizer a little while back, that was fun. It looks really fun doing a randomizer. I mean, that game's a masterpiece. I know most people say, but Mixer Ocarina's a masterpiece. Okay, if you like roaming around, that's nice. I don't. <laughs> I like fighting stuff. And this guy's here, okay. The Wiz Robe's at the bottom now, though, which... I don't know how I survived that. Capcom makes some of the best 2D Zeldas. Beardmaster, what's up, man? That's what I was thinking. Capcom makes good everything. I don't see why people complain about them. That's a good company. You want to complain? Go complain about Konami today. Capcom's still doing good stuff. Maybe not as good as they used to, but still good. Konami's just travesty now. I can't move. All right, we got a couple more to kill here. Beardmaster, hope you're having a good day. Caffeine, welcome in. Thank you for the good luck. Good to have you guys here. Hope you're having a great Friday. Things are going well. We're in loop two, man. We're pushing towards the true ending. It's going great. Capcom had a bad streak in the 2000s. Okay. I guess I wasn't paying any attention at all. I spent a lot of time playing, like, massively multiplayer RPGs like EverQuest and World of Warcraft during that time period. So I was kind of completely out of the loop on console gaming for many years. So I guess that's what I'm missing out on. But that's okay. You guys are here to tell me. That makes it easier. Link Between Worlds is bland. No, the only, I bet it's more exciting than uh, Ocarina, which is just Hyrule Field. Hot! 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 Over and over. Nothing else to do. Riding on Epona, whipping Epona in the ass, watching the carrots go down. Wow, awesome. So much fun. How did I not die there? I, oh, there I go. <laughs> there I go! I knew I was going to die there at some point. All right, how long are you going to be in a bubble? Long enough. That Link impression was so good. I played a lot from... See, I got it for Christmas in 1998. I played it from December 98 to May of 99. So I played it for about six months pretty often. And I never really enjoyed it. I kept thinking, okay, when am I going to enjoy this game? I never did. Wow, I worked hard to get that carrot and it was 200 points. Link to the uh, Link Between Worlds, just a Link to the Past Redux. Well, that's what I wanted, man. <laughs> that's what I wanted. I didn't want a grand 3D adventure. I just wanted m more of the good old same. It's all I asked for. Okay, this is going fabulous. I'm much improved in the physics and controls in this game now that we're in the loop, too. 
And we're back to level 80, getting carrots in this game too. Yep, I was getting carrots and freaking Buster Rabbit or whatever we were playing last time. Shotaro, I wonder if that's another game developer right there. More than likely, yes. Okay, I see what we need to do here. Get a, get a lightning strike in there. Like that. Like that. <laughs> Just like that! That was good. Nice lightning strike there. That's why randomizers exist, that's true. I've never actually tried one, Caffeine. I need to. I've never tried a randomizer, and they have them for everything. For like Final Fantasy 1, Metroid, you name it, there's randomizers out there. Need to play Link's Awakening on Switch and never beat that game. I have not uh, done a playthrough of that either, Oreo. Does have unlimited continues? Yes, Beardmaster. Thankfully, it does. Otherwise, this would have been over like t three hours ago. <laughs> this is a, it's a difficult game as far as like staying alive in this one. It's not easy. Neff, seek help! You're obsessed, sir! Alf randomizer. You would like that. That'd be something for you to start streaming with. Alright, uh, I don't know how I'm still alive. I'm dead. Of course, it's because it's these stupid guys. They ruin everything. Final Fantasy 1's good proto. We'll be having none of that slander. <laughs> how dare you! It's a, it's a wonderful, well-balanced, excellent RPG. That's what it is. And you know it is. <laughs> You know it. No! Bullshit! If I play Puzzle Bobble? No, but it looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Jax, you're getting ready for loop two. I'm getting near the end, man. Get near the end. It's going to be up to you. And what's going on, K-Fight? Welcome in. You going to play Final Fantasy 1? Great choice. Great Proto. That's for Proto's favorite game. He loves it. <laughs> Loves it! How could you not like Final Fantasy 1? My goodness, Proto, what am I gonna do with you? My god, it's so good! <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> you alright? You alright? I'm gonna do it deathless this time! This guy's not killing me, we're doing it deathless. See? Deathless. And we got wine glasses to for reward here. I mean, the, the boss is super drunk, so why not whine? Legends of Four Swords Adventure on GameCube is right up your alley. Lots of fighting. 2D looks like Link to the Past. I love that. Uh, can be uh, played one, two, or three, four players. Just imagine you, Goten, and Rat, and maybe one other playing as a four-player team. Goten's looking to whether it's impossible. I'm up for that. I would be up for that. Yes. I, I would be on board with it 100%. That would be great. No 3D. That's, that's speaking my language here. Now, uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm dead now. <laughs> Screw that one up. That does sound fun. Cryptic grind is booty. I, I like grinding. I'm a fan of grinding. I, I, I actually do understand why you don't like it because it's, it's a very cryptic game. I struggled hard to beat it as a kid, Proto. In fact, I, I made critical mistakes that made it a million times harder than it needed to be. I deleted the ribbons. You know how good ribbons are in a Final Fantasy game? Well, I deleted all of them in Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> I deleted them all. I was like, oh, what, what do I need a piece of armor for that's got plus one armor? This is useless. It didn't have resist or anything. Need to slow down. I have channel points on the line here. Dude, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going full speed ahead. Now the fact you want me to slow down, I'm going to go even faster. Because now it kind of confirms that I might actually be doing good. Which is exciting. <laughs> Final Fantasy on NES is okay for its time. Most other versions are baby mode because the MP changed. I did a replay of, uh, yeah, I did a, not the Pixel remaster. I think I played the Game Boy Advance version off stream like 10 years ago or something. So much easier because of the magic system. I was a little bit disappointed it was so easy. I didn't even try and grind. I prefer the NES one just for the added difficulty. Yeah, I know it kind of gimps the magic users. I get it, but still. Don't grind and it's plenty hard. That's one way to make it. I like experience grinding in Diablo clones. I kind of like experience grinding in everything. I mean, I grew up playing Dragon Quest 1, Fantasy Star 1, and games like that that had to have a lot of grinding. So, I mean, I don't mind it. I, I think it's kind of fun and chill. I don't really want to do it on stream, a grindy game, but I, I did not mind it as a kid, and I don't mind it now. 
And plus, I played uh, massively multiplayer RPGs, which are practically nothing but grinding. So, yeah. Me and grinding, we get along. That was a great move. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here without Von Bubla or whatever killing me. Alright, this red guy's running away. And there he goes. Alright, good move. Re-release Four Swords Adventure on Switch for ease of access and generally a fun multiplayer game. I remember when it came out, it looked great. It looked really freaking good. But I didn't have anyone to play it with, so I never got it. <laughs> I didn't bother. It, that looked like more of a game that would have been better co-op than anything else with the book do. Oh, that's a get good book. It kills everything on the screen. I knew that. Heard you talking about tattoos because they're getting a tattoo of Alf and Rainbow Bright swimming in a giant glass of sweet tea. Sounds great. Sounds freaking awesome. Yeah. That is definitely the plan. <laughs> Rainbow Bright might even be worse than Alf. <laughs> That's how bad Rainbow Bright is. And now, if you didn't hear the story of why I don't like Rainbow Bright, I will not repeat myself because it's way too embarrassing and disturbing to hear again. Darius. That's a shmup. Look, the, the name Darius is up there. Isn't there a shmup called Darius? I think there is. That shmup's on the brain. But no, I'm not going to repeat the Rainbow Bright story. I told it on stream one time, never again. So if you didn't hear it, well, tough luck. You're not hearing it again. Shmup with robotic fish. Should I play that, Wolf? Is that a good shmup or is that a greatest shit shmup? <laughs> That's my question. Is it good? I don't know if I can trust some. It's Wolfmaster and Smart and Tart are like Gradius, so I, I have a hard time trusting them on sh on shmup opinions. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> Darius is pretty good. It seems fishy. Or that doesn't help. Did we kill everything? No. No, they're still alive. Okay, I'm just having a hard time seeing them. Played any of those Space Harrier type games? Yeah, I did Space Harrier 2 on uh, Genesis. I had that one as a kid, Goobs. Really fun game. That's a type of shooter I love because you know why? There's no power-ups. You have a base weapon that's powerful. You just go through the game killing stuff with your base weapon. It's freaking awesome. You don't have to die and then be like, Oh my god, I powered down. Now I can't kill anything. STA, shmup time asshole. No! How, oh my god, how dare you, Proto? <laughs> we were talking about that level on the first playthrough. And people came up with all kinds of stuff. You just came up with the worst possible thing. Thanks. <laughs> The worst! How'd you end up liking Stinger? I really enjoyed Stinger. We're gonna go back and play uh, Loop 2 of Stinger at some point. At some point, at some time, we're gonna do Loop 2. Okay, I just did the wrong thing there. You're supposed to do a fireball there. I think that's what you do here. So I gotta wait on a fireball to show up here, and then we're gonna drop it down there on these little toy guys down here. But Stinger was good. That's mostly my problem with shmups is... They're, they're based around power-ups, and when you die, the power-ups are gone, and then the game is balanced for you to have full power-ups. So you see where I'm going with the problem here? What a move. What a freaking move. What a freaking move. And it did not kill them all. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Alright, I was about to say. I was about to say. No, not fire. Not freaking... <laughs> fire! Yeah, cool! Yeah. Th 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 is that what you wanted, Link? You got it. Oh, we got drunks. We got super drunks to put up with up here. Okay. I'm gonna die for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're throwing shit. There's not much you can do. Somehow I beat that level on the, without taking a death the first time. I almost did it again. All right. Really? A friend of mine in junior high school was a big fan of Beavis and Butthead, and he almost actually burned the school down. We were messing around outside. There was a big pile of junk near behind the school, and he found a, a, a discarded magnifying glass in the pile of garbage, and it was real sunny outside, so you can kind of guess where this story goes. And he almost burned the school down. It was crazy. I was there. I ran for my life when the pile of garbage caught on fire, which was right next to a shed full of gasoline and uh, in some engines. So yeah, that could have been pretty bad. 
That's called getting good. That's called getting good. Well, I'm getting good luck, random luck on power-ups here. I really am. See, someone beat the Mad Hatter with no power-ups? Jax, I'm tempted to try. <laughs> I'm tempted to try. That sounds fun. That does. There needs to be like a challenge mode of Batman and uh, Robin on Genesis where you have unlimited continues, but it's got psychotic challenges like that so you can keep trying without having to worry about running out of continues. Alright, so I gotta, I gotta drop fire down there. We're not gonna finish this level. There's no way. Like that. That's what they were going for. for Alright, perfect. Nailed it. I lit a napkin on fire and threw it in the trash can in high school and almost got arrested. Why are you not in prison right now? You should be in prison right now. I would have arrested you and thrown away the key. And I wouldn't have let you bond out either. <laughs> wow! We got an arsonist here! <laughs> got a freaking arsonist on our hands! We're we'll to challenge my play Resident Evil 1 with invisible enemies. I remember you mentioning that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that! That sounds horrifying. That's like playing the original Doom on Nightmare difficulty. That's not fun either. One could say, yeah, it's a challenge. I get it. Is it a fun challenge, though? There's a difference between a dumb challenge and a fun challenge. And that just sounds dumb, just like Nightmare Mode in Original Doom. That's dumb. ST. Stupid trash. That's what ST means. How am I dead right there? Got him! Alright, well that was a quick and easy level. ST. Man, we're rocking and rolling right to jail. That's right. Proto, you ought to be in jail for that shmup comment earlier. <laughs> I haven't forgotten! 92, come on, baby. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. I don't know. I don't know. I might not make it. We have a hard boss fight coming up. What's the time? What's the prediction timer to beat this today, anyway? Is it something reasonable or is it something really stupid? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes my mods troll me with a prediction timer that's not fair. Maybe this one's actually fair. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> St schmup. I god damn it! I knew it. I knew it! Alright, another level done. We're rocking and rolling through these levels. Got 35 minutes left. That's all for all this? And I thought I was doing really good. And we have a loop two horrible boss fight coming up. I'm, I don't think I'm probably not going to make it. <laughs> Almost. Oh, double KO! I win. I win. Double KO. That's the second time we've seen this happen. My corpse is going to go to level 96. Alright, that's a bad level, by the way, too. It's a terrible level. Half hour left. Not long. Not long! This is one of the worst levels you will see. But there is a method to the madness. Alright, now we have to carefully line up bubbles to make this work. Actually, we don't need bubbles at all. We just go like that. Okay. Yeah, I did this on loop one earlier. It's all you do. It's all you do. It's more... It looks intimidating, but it's actually not that bad at all. The double KOs count as wins in this game. They actually do, Sagan, if you can believe it. Oh, it's fair this is going to be close? All right, well, they're close. At least it's somewhat fair. I need to go to the bathroom, but, I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> All right, these guys are all gonna pile down here, and we're gonna not. Oh, we're gonna. We are gonna kill them. Good. All right, we got these guys. To, hmm, this is gonna be not easy. Not easy. All right. Well, this guy might jump up. Yeah, this guy's gonna jump up here, and we're gonna kill him that way. This other guy, I don't know how we're gonna get. Like this with the lightning. Bam! No! <laughs> Dude, that missed him by like a pixel. Second verse save is the first. Dude, that guy should be dead! <laughs> no! You're not getting me, you're too slow.
<laughs> what are the odds of that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> I'm still alive! No! <laughs> you cheater! I'm gonna get that guy first, all right. Before he starts going ballistic on me. All right, we already got him. All right, so now the other guy's gonna be easy to get. I should have done that last time. What was that? I don't know what we got. All right, something that would have cleared the level. That was crazy. Holy crap. All right, level 98. We're on, welcome, all right. Let time let the ghost kill me and start over? No! It's gonna be a fight to the finish. In this game, I don't just start over. We keep fighting. Alright, this could be ridiculous. Alright, that didn't really work how I planned for it to. Yes. Wow, look at this. Well, it kind of... Oh, that's all my lives. Okay. Okay, faster. He was in a bubble for like 0 .2 seconds right there. It's got to be almost instantaneous now. Oh, you got to be so fast here. Uh, and we have to get the secret road on level 99, which I'm assuming is going to be the same level. Almost. Almost! So close! Man, the difficulty has spiked tremendously on this level. Alright, that guy's gonna die. That guy's gonna die. Alright. Red candy. That's gonna help. That's like, yeah, that's like superpowers. I couldn't do anything. One more. Alright, need him to jump out of there. There we go. Got him. All right. Making my prediction wager much more profitable than it was two hours ago. Oh, I don't know, man. It's gonna be tight. Ninety-nine. All right, we gotta go for the. We gotta go for the secret thing. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's gonna be in the same spot. Maybe it is. I see it over there. Okay. I wonder if I if I have less time to get it this time. All right, I got it, and there's the gate. First try! First freaking try! Wow! I was worried we might be stuck there for a while. Okay. Well, that is amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. All right, I'm dead. That's fine. Let's go. Put that shit on my resume. I got the loop two secret road bubble bobble first time. <laughs> that was insane. Wow. I don't know if the timer was shorter or not. We didn't give it a chance to find out, but it's just done. I will put that on my resume. If I'm hiring for a job and I see that on a resume, I'm hiring them. <laughs> I would hire for that. Holy crap. Got it, okay. We have like 12 more levels to go until the final battle. And apparently he's gonna be a lot harder, that's what I understand. You'd hire me? Thank you, J-Dog, I'm glad. I need to move up there then, because I'm tired of living in Alabama. I'll move to Massachusetts, that sounds much better. Easy level, easy level there. I, I need the weather up there. The weather down here is horrible. Okay, how's this level going to work? We'll start low and work our way up. Oh, that candy would have been great. Too late. Can I get it now? It's going to despawn. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I got it. Okay, we have long range. Okay, this is... Uh, 
Very good. Got him. No problem. Sweet tea starts to disappear the further you go north. That's the idea. Exactly, Beardmaster. That's what I wanted. Got secret door loot to him. Bubble Bobble NES on first try. Where do I... When do I start? And if I'm not hired right away, it's rigged. Okay, that's not good there, but we're fine. Alright, uh... That guy's gonna break free. They break free just within a second. Oh, that's crap! I got sniped. Okay. Dude. Uh, okay. Dude, uh, d d just imagine doing this deathless. Loop 2, Bubble Bobble, deathless. Somebody try it. Somebody see if you can do it. Some maniac will end up doing it, more than likely. Not me! I like my sanity where it is. Screw that. Dude, you've done... Dude, Wolf, you, you've done Contra 3 hard mode deathless. That, to me, that almost seems like the same thing. <laughs> that seems impossible as hard as that game is. Okay, well, I got him. We're gonna move on. Proto's thinking about it. He, I, he's not... See? Here for your resume? Good. Got all, look at my resume. Look at my games beaten list. That's my resume. More important than job experience is games beaten. Okay, let's knock these super drunks out, or little drunks, whatever you want to call these guys. Easy level right there. YK? Seems way harder than that. I don't know. I'll do it if you play Eldrin Ring on stream. Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> nice try, but, but, no. Eldrin Ring on stream. Can you just imagine? No. Just can't even imagine. God damn it. You cannot get through these levels now without dying a couple of times. Eldrin Ring is so good. I, I'm sure it is for people that like that kind of stuff. Not me, though. I need this kind of stuff. I need, like, Wally Bear and the No Gang kind of stuff. That, that's my version of Eldrin Ring. Wally Bear. I'm not kidding. I would, I'm more, I would be more entertained by Wally -E Bear. I would be bored playing those kind of Souls games, unfortunately. They're just not for me. They look terribly boring. But that's me. We're all different. Everyone loves Ocarina but me, I know. Well, not everyone. Some of you guys actually say you don't like it, which is nice. Another level down. Reads book, gets instant game over, takes a minute to think about the poor life decisions made. I'm making great life decisions here. Just the, the best ever. I mean, I, mean I, I did Superman 64 on hard difficulty. That's a great life decision. <laughs> and then I found the guy that made it on Twitter and he said it wasn't that bad. That was the craziest part about that whole playthrough. It's not that bad. It's really okay with it. I'm hurrying. All right, I'm we gotta get. The, I'm trying to hit hit this guy at the right angle, and I got him perfectly. All right, all the bodies are falling. Yeah, he said it wasn't that bad, and I responded. I put a clip. Somebody clipped of me playing it on his Twitter page, and I said, "Oh, really? Not that bad." And it was me stuck in the floor and getting killed because I couldn't move. I was like, "Yeah, not that bad, right?" Oh, guess what? He didn't respond. I didn't respond. I didn't say any more than that either. I mean, what, what else could I say? I, I proved my point. But no, he didn't respond. If it's so good, why don't you defend it? No, he couldn't. It's indefensible. All right, easy level. Lex wins. Lex always wins. You don't ever win. If you play Dark Souls and win, end up liking it, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to go in. When I do eventually play it, Goobs, I'm going to go into it with an open mind and hope I really do enjoy it. I really do. The last thing I want to do is do a full playthrough of a long game that I'm not going to like. I mean, I'm already going to do that with Ocarina. I know I'm not going to like that. But I'm going to do it anyway. So I can't get out of it now because everybody knows how much I hate it. Alright, dead again. We're fine. I was rocking Daisy all day. What are you playing? Super Mario Brothers Wonder might have online multiplayer. It's another fun game for you and friends to play. That would be great. I, I love me some old school Mario. You can't go wrong. That's a warp zone up there. Can I get to it? That umbrella? Got me a freaking warp zone. 
and it went, wow, one whole level. <laughs> I thought we were gonna go, like, three levels down or something, but no, one. We got a warp zone of one. I've seen warp zones in this game work a lot better than that one. I'm hurt. Wow, the hurry thing pops up quick. All right. MTJ. I see where he is. Yeah, the guy's gonna show up, I know. That is garbage. I landed a hit there. That was pure garbage. How many levels are left? Can't advance you that much. This might be. Yeah, there only might be about three or four more levels. It's gonna be close. I'm trying to reposition here. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, this is, it's another double KO, but we will advance to the next level, thankfully. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... Yeah, it's B.O. All right, body odor. All right, here we go. Michael the Jordan. I was going to say something about that, but no, you, you fixed it for me, Proto. I saw MJ, and my first thought was Michael Jordan. Of course, hate jumping in Ocarina. I hate how boring Ocarina is. There's not enough to fight. I like the boss fights in Ocarina. I really do. I think they're cool boss fights. I like the story. I like the graphics. I don't like the empty running around. That's like 90% of the game is the empty running around. It's unfortunate, too. I mean, the, the game engine and everything's fine. Oh, my God! I got distracted by that guy showing up. Thunder outside? Sounds like it's thundering outside. That's not a good thing. At least I have passwords in this game. So uh, 22 minutes is going to be the boss fight that determines probably. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him in 22 minutes if he moves three times faster than the original version. I don't think it's going to be doable. I'll try, but <laughs> no, no promises. Well, there's only one more. We're almost there. You get Epona later on. Okay, then you're bored riding a horse, whipping it in the ass while it's feeding it carrots. Wow, now it's it's still boring. <laughs> Didn't have much trouble with the boss. You did on loop two? All right, we'll see how hard it is. I'm kind of intimidated that it's going to be a lot faster. <laughs> I'm a little intimidated. I got the loop one of it down fairly quickly, but the... I don't know. <laughs> you never know. RMV, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? I don't know where to go there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What is that, a mushroom? Some kind of mushroom? Some kind of magic wand? I don't even know what I'm looking at there. No, it's a, ma it's a, mu it's a magic wand. That's what it is. The joystick. Yeah, it's an old arcade joystick. Looks, looks plausible. Okay, I missed the fire. Is there only one soundtrack? No, the boss boss music has uh, something different. Okay, hopefully... Yeah, perfect. PERFECT! RMV, it's going well, man. We're almost to the end of loop two, if you can believe it. We're almost there. In fact, the next level is going to be the boss fight. The very next level. And here we go. Love the NES Advantage Bubble Bobble. Oh, you you want to use Turbo, don't you? I see. Turbo would make this easier. I'm not using it, by the way. All right, he's got 80 hit points this time. Okay, he doesn't look any different. Okay, so I'm assuming to get the hard version, I'm going to have to drop 80 hit points off him. And then I'm going to have to fight him again. Oh, not Turbo, the joystick. Okay. thunder outside. It's not good. Look how much health this guy has! Jesus! And I'm dead. Awesome. Andy, what's up, man? There are bosses. This is loop two. This is gonna be... This is loop two. Apparently, we have to kill him twice. 
<laughs> Andy, hope you're having a good day, man. Hope the bison speed running has been going well. You've been working on M. Bison Super, uh, Street Fighter 2 speed running. Bison's a weird character. I hope that's not going too terrible. But yes, this has bosses, but only at level 100 on each of the loops. And then I actually went beyond level 100 because there's a secret you have to do. And you have to get player two in. So yeah, there's going to be several things we have to do here. Okay, yeah, this guy's name is Super Drunk, if you're wondering. Jay Shu, what's up, man? Oh, that missed. Okay, every volley missed right there. All right, for you guys that know, let me ask this question. I don't want to screw this up and, like, not be able to get the good ending here. Remember not to pop him for second form. Okay. That's what I needed to know. See, I... How would you know that? Immune. Well, thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it. God, he's got 80 hit points. Does he... I wonder if he's got 80 hit points on the second form as well. This is gonna be insane, dude. I gotta take off... If that's the case, I'm gonna have to take off 160 hit points from him. If you guys wanna know how much health he's got, look at the 22 up there at the top middle of the screen. Super drunk and be on cherry snack. It could! Could! <laughs> I have no lives left, by the way. I'm gonna have to do both forms with three lives. I don't know if that's doable. <laughs> that does a lot of damage, right? There. Whoa! That was close. Alright, so I'm not gonna pop him. And he's gonna bust out and be like... Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Lost my power up. Dude, he's got sixty eight more hit points. This is insane. <laughs> Now he goes back to phase one again. Oh, good God! <laughs> wow, that is insanity right there. I can't die on phase one. I need all my lives for a second form. I can do it. I don't know, man. This is insane. You should attempt this, Jax! You all should! Gabe Lincoln Log, welcome in. Healer, have a great night. Thank you for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. This is insanity. And he's got more health on loop two! It's bad enough. That's the worst spot you can get caught in right there. I'm starting over. I can't die that early. This is nuts, man. Pern, what's going on? This is hard, I will admit. Oh, this is gonna hurt, man. This is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. Alright, let's go again. I gotta beat Form 1 without taking a death, basically. Because I'm gonna need all hands on deck for Phase 2. 
I had a pretty good run going, but I, I botched it. Alright, I can block his shots with my lightning. I'm gonna have to try and do that more often. Dodge less, block more. I like the song. Nope, nope, start over. You're gonna need to start over. Oh, I just realized something else, too! I just realized something else. See, to get the best ending, you have to get player two in. Player two has to get in the game, which means it's gonna cost me one life just to get player two in. That's gonna be a problem, too. So that means I have even one less life to work with if you wanna get the best ending. So that's going to suck. Okay, that's some nice damage there. We just need more volleys like that. We're gonna do a ton of damage to them like that. And that's 12 hit points off, only 68 more to go. This is mad. No wonder I don't see anyone do loop two of this game. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense! Because <laughs> nobody wants to do this. I get it. I completely get it. Alright, I just got a 1-up, so you do get 1-up from points, okay. Oh, I had him with 4 lightning bolts and only 1 counted because, because of the iframes. That's how that worked, iframes. Alright, so this run's going really well. It's when he gets like near me in the corner like that when there's a problem. Because I, I can't really protect myself. Okay, that's nice. It's no deaths yet. Eighteen. It's unthinkable. That only, I think that only, you know, that might have counted for more than that. I don't know. Grunt, what's up? <laughs> oh, man. Another one up! Thank <laughs> you. 
That was so close. Hit him! I can't hit him! Now I don't have enough lives to get the good ending. You have to have extra life, unfortunately. If I don't get another one up, I'm not going to be able to finish him. You have to have extra one up. I don't have that. So if I don't get an extra life right here... I can't get the good ending. I beat him, but it's not good enough. Now he's got 80 health again. I was this close. I was this close. I was really that close. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. No, not three forms. Here's what I have to do. To get the good ending, you have to spawn in the second player. You can only get the good ending with two players. And to spawn the second player in, you have to have an extra life in store. And I had no extra lives, which means no good ending. So I, I got to do it again. Gotta do it again. You can get the bad ending on loop one, and I think a lot of people are satisfied with that. They don't want to try and beat them twice to, for the good ending. And you have to find some other, you have to go through down like a secret path too, which I luckily got on the first try on loop two. See, once you beat Loop 1, it goes into super bubble bobble mode, and I think that's where probably most people that ended up beating Loop 1 are probably like, yeah, I'm done with this game, but there's more! Alright, so I do have enough lives to work with. You have to let him escape the bubble the first time and get all his health back to put him into phase 2. Alright, a deathless run working again. The problem is how long this fight is. It's the length of the fight is the problem. Nice damage there. Man, I can kill him, but I got to have that extra life or it's not going to matter. It sucks so much, too, because I had him beat. Okay, sometimes you can get three lightning bolts out. It's hard to do, though. You have to hit the button really fast. Nice damage there. He's down to 18. We're about to go into phase two again. That's my horse. Somebody's seen Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I've seen it. <laughs> That's a good episode, is it not? All right, there we go. <laughs> That's my horse. <laughs> oh, nice. Three. All right, so I got to try and get the timing down for three right there. Nope, not good enough. Three hits. Okay, we're in, we're in good shape here. All right, here we go, phase two. Okay. 
I don't, got my one up. 58 health. Look at his health, though. Dead. It's gonna happen sometimes. He's gonna be dead. No! Bad luck! Really bad luck! Unfortunately, that was poor luck. Alright, at least I got the power up again. <laughs> it's just hard to get it back. You have to go back up there. Mm -mm. Should have gone defensive right there. Alright, I, I can't die again, unfortunately. He's got 46 more hit points. Dead. Mm, that's it. That's it! That is it. Gotta go again. This is a really hard second phase. It's hard. It's hard! Go again! Naysayers win, not surprised. That's not that wasn't enough time. That was not enough time. <laughs> For a boss fight like this! 160 hit points! <laughs> That's not nearly enough time. And I beat him too. I just didn't have the extra life available. That was the problem. Just didn't have it. Man. Sucks. Oh well, we'll beat him. I just hope I can even beat that final phase. You always finish in time. Think it was a good estimate. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I get salty when I don't beat the prediction timer. We usually do a prediction on every game, and some it, it's a mixed bag usually. Sometimes I beat it. Sometimes I don't. Been harder than this? I don't know. <laughs> this is pretty rough. It's not the hardest thing in the world. It's just such a long fight. That's what makes it so hard, is how long this fight is. I don't know. I might be fighting him another hour. <laughs> I've had a couple of good runs, but you never know with this. Rob, what's up? This boss fight over says it's welcome. Mm -hmm. Especially on phase two. Especially there. Alright, he's down to 27. We're getting there. Man. I still feel like that first really good run got away from me. Do all those lightning hits count? I think they do. I got stuck in the corner, man. One difficult evasion is easier than a hundred easy evasions. May Jaco, welcome in. How's it going today? Good to have you here. Thank you for the follow while I was off stream. No! Jesus! I should start over. See, that's that's what this is this is why this is hard. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts to this fight. I need to do more damage like that. Is it not beatable without letting him break the bubble? If you don't let him break the bubble, you can't get the good ending, apparently. So you have to fight the hard mode of him if you really want the good ending. Alright, I'll try. I'm probably not going to make it, but I'll give it a shot. May, good to have you here. Welcome in. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm just going to have to do this on the ground. I, I can't... I'm not fast enough to time it when... Any shots in the air here? And I gotta use the lightning to try and block his shots too. So, I mean, there's like a double whammy you gotta put up with in this fight. Okay, I was looking, I wasn't even looking at me right there, I was looking at the wrong thing. See, now I can't hit him. And I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm. Mm start over. I don't have enough lives. You gotta get there with lives, or it does not work. Alright. Let's go again. He's not that bad at all on phase one, now that I've got this part down. It's just... Well, he's got extra hit points, because it's loop two, so... 
All right. Put out a bunch of bubbles. Here we go. Yeah, every... Okay, he does not get iframes. I was wondering if that was going to be a thing. It's not. All right. So all those hits count, so we can drop them fairly quick. Wow, that's a lot of damage! Alright, I can do it fairly well on phase one, but on phase two, he's moving too quickly before I can do that. Man, that's hurt my thumb. <laughs> I'm really, like, going auto-turbo practically on the button. Just trying to get out as many bubbles as I can. Alright. Yeah, every shot counts. I did not know it was going to work that way. That's some massive damage. Alright. Crud is no problem, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. <laughs> Lorraine, welcome in. Sorry if I'm missing chat. This is a really hard fight. I, I apologize. Lorraine, welcome in. UN Squadron, UN Squadron Micah, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing good. All right, good block right there. All right, he's about to go crazy mode. All right, here he goes. Here we go. Phase one's gotten easier. It's phase two where the problem lies. See, I can't time it out, because he's so much faster. That's about my best bet, is doing it like that. YGY, welcome in. How you doing today? Good to have you here. We're in the final b battle of phase two. It's pretty insane. Fun game, though. I really like this fight. This is a good one. And I, mi I keep missing just by, like, little small increments. Not that time. That time I got him. I'll take it. I'll take it. This is a great run. I like this fight. I think it's fun. I really do. It's, it's chaotic and exciting. So maybe it's a little too long, though. Good block! Wow, I just saved myself right there with a really nice block. Got all my lives still. No! gotta have one extra life to spawn in player two. I gotta have that or we don't get the good ending. It was a good run. It was a good run. I'll take it. Quick. What's up, man? Welcome in. <laughs> that was a hell of a run right there. Holy crap. Ah! I was doing good till I said how many lives I had and then the wheels came off real quick. Alright. That's fine. Alright, I gotta get groove back on th this. I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little bit more consistent. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I, I re Proto, I remember that. You got, did you guys do loop two? I know you did loop one. I did see that. Did you guys do loop two as well? Because that's insane. Ducking, what's up, man? Welcome in. 
I feel like I am getting better. I feel like there is some improvement here. Yeah, you, you get right back into the fight immediately. That's a really good thing. You don't have to do like a level or anything, which is really nice. When you're doing a hard boss fight, the last thing you want to do is go back and do another level again. I would not have blocked any of those shots. That's why I had to dodge right there instead of trying to block. Alright, that was like five damage. That's pretty good. I just can't do that much damage to him in phase two. That's the problem. He's too fast. We use the code that we're given at the end to get us to B0. Gotcha. Okay. Man, I bet this is a lot better with two players. <laughs> I bet it's more tolerable. Alright, that's a pretty decent good way to start him out there. Phase two. No! Everything missed! I could slip under him right there. It was worth a shot. It didn't work that time, though. It's unfortunate. Alright, got my life back. That's good. Alright. Nice. Nice. More damage right there would have helped, but didn't get it. Doing good. My entire volley right there missed. hits right there. Three more. No! I'm really out of rhythm right here. Alright, let's try and get it back. There we go. is that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> it turned into something else? <laughs> Trying to comprehend the ending. Wow! Thank you for the GG's, guys. That was it. That was it. Oh my god. So it does have an ending. So it does have an ending on loop too. I don't even know what even that was. Infinite Guinea, thank you for the 500 bits. Oh All right, so loop two is doable. Infinite Guinea, thank you so very much for the bits. Thank you for all these GGs, guys. Holy crap! Your mother and father were turned into super drunk. Bub and Bob were turned into bubble dragons. That's really what. That, that's the story. That's the sto that's the craziest story ever. <laughs> Congratulations! Now you found the most important magic in the world. It is love and friendship. I I must agree. Go Tim! Thank you for the two hundred bits as well. Oh my God! 
Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for playing it the other day. That's what got me into this. Love and peace. <laughs> Phase 2, you just want to stay on one side since he never hits the corners, then you can keep sending volleys like you do with Phase 1. Does he not hit the corners in Phase 2? I swear he hit the corner a couple of times. That's why I was moving around. Well, he's, de he's dead. <laughs> Man, that was something. He can hit corners, but it's super rare. Okay. See, here's my concern, though. I was worried that he was going to be, like, right in the corner, like me right here, even if he doesn't directly touch the corner. If he fires a shot when he's right on top of you, I'm not going to be able to block it. That's why I was moving around more. And if you're behind him, he doesn't shoot at all. So I was trying to stay on his other side, which kind of worked here and there a little bit. You're correct, he can still get with a shot as well. That's what I, I was more concerned about him hitting me with a shot than crushing me. If that happened, you were using the correct strat. It felt moving back and forth. That felt like it was working. What's the next game you want to beat up? Well, what time is it? It's 4.15. Yeah, we could do another game. We could definitely throw in one more game today. Dude, guys, thank you for the GGs. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would see the end of this game. Ever. I mean, I've seen the bad ending before and like the good ending of Loop 1, but I've never seen that before. That was really weird. Nosferatu 2. You really, really hate me, don't you, Grunt? <laughs> Thankfully, that doesn't exist, or does it? Rainbow Islands is on my list. We're going to do that. Kickmaster, that's on my list. You guys already know. Super C, might have time for that in a little bit. There is a game I've been wanting to try, and it's a version of Double Dragon. It's another version of Double Dragon I've never seen anyone else play, and I played it when I was a kid and got nowhere, and I kind of want to try it again. No, not the Atari one. I kind of want to do Master System Double Dragon. That's kind of what I want to do. I've heard that's not a whole lot of fun. But uh, I kind I remember playing it long ago, and I kind of want to try it. Jax, I remember, is the one that brought it up to me a while back. He was like, Mixer, you ever played Master System Double Dragon? And I was like, uh, n yeah, I think I have, but I don't really remember anything about it. And you were like, we'll try it sometime. Beating a game that's been bothering you since childhood is the best. I see, this is one that I couldn't do anything with, Vance. That's why, I, and, so, and Jack's recommended it. No, Vance, I'm offended. I'm going to play everything. <laughs> I'm going to play everything. I just don't have enough time. We're going to get to everything, though. Yeah, all that stuff you guys are mentioning, Parasol Stars, I put on my list because it got brought up in my Discord the other day. Uh, 